Jay. Nah, fuck that. We ain't starting shit until everybody participates. Let's start this over. How the fuck y'all doing, Rebel? Yeah! All right, y'all. This ain't no regular-ass comedy show. This ain't where motherfuckers come up here and do a weak-ass open mic or none of that shit. <laughs> the open micers are laughing right now. <laughs> you got to have some talent tonight. You got to have talent because we're giving away $200. Y'all give it up for that. Y'all give it up. So, my name is Robert Buck D. Gibson. I will be your host. As you can see, I got my Easter outfit on. It's going to be a great fucking night. We got 15 comics. We got five judges. Y'all give it up for Before I go any further, let me go ahead and uh, tell you who the judges are, and then I'll tell you how the night will go. Let's start with our first judge. You guys get the mic? You got the mic? All right. First judge, he is the program director of 101.3 The Hustle, the only real hip-hop station in fucking Albuquerque. Y'all give it up for Kurt Nielsen! All right, Kurt, I work with you. I know you very intimately. You got a child on the way. I don't know why you're here judging shit. Your wife is right here about the bus. Yeah, <laughs> this was her choice. This was her choice? <laughs> well, we do got linoleum on the floor, so if it comes out, I ain't gonna help y'all. I'm, I'm already on child support. I feel like if I help y'all deliver a baby, I'm gonna be on child support again. No, I'm gonna owe you some medical bills. <laughs> All right, Kurt, I got a question for you. You know it's the gong show. It's your first time judging. If you don't like him, you come over here and gong. Will you have a problem gonging someone who is not entertaining the crowd? Does Ken Griffey Jr. have a trouble swinging at a fastball? Oh, God damn. Oh, God damn. There's a lot of people who don't even know who Ken Griffey Jr. is, but I do. I'm old. I know you old as fuck, bro. <laughs> if Satchel Paige can throw a Negro League fastball, Ken Griffey Jr. <laughs> he retired like 20 years ago. I just saw him on the TV out in the lobby. That's okay. fine. <laughs> All right, for your next judge, give it up for the voice of the Duke City Gladiators, Vernon Coons. What up, what up, what up, Buck D? What up, Vern? What up, man? Y'all don't understand. This guy right here, if you've ever been to a Duke City Gladiator game, the motherfucker got more energy than anything. I swear he'd be on cocaine. I was like, there's no way they drug test the announcer for the Duke City Gladiators, bro. Straight coke. So I got to ask you a question. <laughs> hey, don't say that. I know some ladies up there was like, he got that coke? Yeah, no, no. Nah. They don't, perked don't up when you said that. They got on their tippy toes. Don't like, do that. Don't do that. The little black dude got coke? <laughs> Vernon, will you have the same energy that you have for the Duke City Gladiators for tonight at the Gong Show? Man, if you're not funny, you're getting that gong. Bottom line, bro. That's it's what I'm happening. talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm looking in the eyes of the comedians. They like, fuck. That's yeah. the first two judges. Yeah. Judge number three, if you've been here, once a month we have what's called the comedy roast battles. This guy is the man who puts it together, my brother, Evan Rons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ronzi looked like he just run shit. No, you know the rich white kid who don't work? Don't he look like that? Nah, nah. He just day drink and put bitches on pills? Don't he? <laughs> he look like that. It's because I'm the one with the coke. No. Bro, you, you look like you take bitches surfing in Albuquerque. <laughs> they, de they definitely ride a wave, for sure. So. Rons, I gotta ask you, will you have a problem gonging trash comedy? No. Damn, he didn't let me finish. <laughs> nah, does, uh, does Ken Griffey do coke? Of course no. I'm gonna do that. So. <laughs> this... I'm just playing, nah, man, nah, ain't also, nobody, ain't also, nobody also, safe. Also, I want you to say something about the roast battles for anybody who's oh, yeah. never been there. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so if you don't know what comedy roast battles are, you get two comics on stage and they talk shit to each other for your enjoyment. Uh, next one's March 16th right here at Rebel. That's a Wednesday. Yes, sir. And also, if you want a roast battle, if you think you got 
you got that shit? Just like Kurt, Kurt I guess, is going to roast battle next time. Yes, he is. Hit, hit yes, me up. Is. I'll book to you. There okay, we you go. on stage. There we go. Let's go. I also will be hosting that. If you're trash, I'll let you know immediately. And also, Buck is the best host, so <laughs> nobody's safe. Next up, y'all see him here every Wednesday hosting the comedy shows, whatever that's going down. Y'all give it up for comedian Jamar Hall. Yo, 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 yo. How we doing? <laughs> Jamar. <laughs> the hey, what's up, y'all? Wait, wait, wait. How did you go from a, how did you go yo, from a big, big <laughs> black dude oh, to what? a fucking gay ass white dude in two seconds, bro? <laughs> He's like, hey, how y'all doing? Yeah. Hey, hi. <laughs> It's Jamar's. You know if anybody throat. put an S on their last name, yeah. it's some gay shit. <laughs> and if you're gay, I don't care. It's funny. Fuck it. Uh, Jamar, will you have a problem gonging no. anyone? No? No. I gonged seven last show because they were trash. I'll, I will gong eight of y'all for being <laughs> trash. You do have the highest percentage of gonging. I'm, su I'm surprised none of the comics beat your ass yet, bro. Because they, no, they, they, they all want to get on stage. They all want to get on stage. But I tell you, look, they do be here <laughs> every week. And they do be here every week, and they was like, we need to have a gong show for hosts, because I'd have gonged the shit out of Jamar's ass. <laughs> Look, that's why they laughing at that shit. All right, so one more. He will be your headliner for tonight, all the way from Phoenix, Arizona. This guy, I would had to have him on this show. He's one of the first people who showed me love when I first did comedy in Phoenix. Y'all give it up for Joshua Harrison. Yo, what's good, what's good? God damn, Josh. You need a throat lozenge, God <laughs> damn. <laughs> Motherfucker got the mic all in your goddamn larynx. <laughs> no, that just means you smoke weed. That's all I, I do, know. yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty high right now. Hey, so, so Josh, you know, this is your first time. I'll let you know how it's gonna go. Do you have, you don't know none of these motherfuckers. I, it's liable, you'll go yeah. everybody. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I also only came because I thought this was the bong show. <laughs> <laughs> well, stick around after the show, we can figure that out. Uh, let's you're, go. Sit, you're sitting next to the fucking Ronzi. It's <laughs> 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 All right, so like I said, he'll be your headliner. Uh, let me tell you how this will go. As you can see, for the first time ever, I gotta give it up. We have an actual gong, you guys. Y'all give it up for this shit. The last shows, we had a cymbal. It was some ghetto ass hood shit. It's a real gong. This shit is loud as fuck. Give it up for the gong. This is the real star of the night. Give it up. So, here's how it goes. You want me to hit it? Are we talking about you or the gong? Oh, okay. Because you was like, hit it. I was like, shit. Pull my shit out on the stage. I ain't, I'm single, single in this motherfucker. Can one of the judges please come up here and give us a demonstration of the gong, please? He said, shit. This is actually how it go. They got to walk through here. Look, look. Boy, look at your shoes. God damn. Go ahead. Now, nah, you got to hit it for real. Hit it for real. Damn, you breaking shit. All right. I don't know the brother hit the gong of your shoes. God damn. <laughs> he was like, you know what's gonna kill him tonight? Hershey almond rappers. That's what's gonna kill him. I'm gonna stamp. I'm gonna get a few cavities, but I'm gonna cover these holes up. This shit was shining in a bitch, huh? He looked like he clicked his heels and end up in Compton. All right, let's get this started. So, it's 15 comics, you guys, 15 comics. They have up to six minutes to not only impress the judges, but also impress everyone in this room. But I told the judges, give them at least two minutes. Give them at least two minutes. But at two minutes and one second, they ain't doing it, they gonna come up here and gong the shit out of them. If you as the crowd feel like they're trash, y'all turn around and tell the judges, what the fuck? and they gotta fucking go. That's how y'all do it, all right? Rebel, are y'all ready for to get this started? Nah, I ain't starting shit. I done got your money, I'll leave right now. I don't give a fuck. Let's start, let's try this again, DJ. DJ, can you give me some music? Can you give me something? Thank you. Yeah, hey, all right, Rebel. Are y'all ready for the third and 
installment of the Comedy Gong Show. Make some noise! Yeah! Good shit, cut it off. I wasn't gonna pay him after that first song. What the fuck? Okay, so also, I got you. So comics, when you're performing, the light will be over here with the judges, if you make it that fucking far. All right, let's get this started. Thank you for cutting the lights. We are gonna start, I got, I got the lineup right here. They have up to six minutes, you guys. I want a lively crowd, all right? I want y'all to let us know if they're funny or if they're not funny. This is the only way this shit works. Coming up first to the stage, Give it up for Angel Lopez! Oh yeah, baby, what's going on? Give it up for Buck D, come on, putting on this show. This is amazing. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my God, I love this shit. Okay, here we go. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you have a threesome, it's pretty much just gay sex with a witness. I don't know if you guys know this, but when I go to a thrift store, I like to find used items. That's also known as a single mom. You know what I hate? I've been practicing guitar my whole life. Like I've been doing like the coolest things ever, like stuff like this. But the most thing that everyone is impressed by is this. What the fuck? I practiced 10 years, not for that. That's horrible. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm actually a military boy. I have four years in the military. Thank you, thank you very much, thank you. J-R-O-T-C was the shit. Turned me into the man you see today. All right guys, I just want, uh, I want to sing a song because I literally have always wanted to be a comedian my whole life. Like I was like, this is what I meant to do. I look in the mirror, I'm supposed to be a comedian. I wake up from bed, I'm supposed to be a comedian. So I'm gonna sing a song for you guys. Well, I wanna be a comedian. So fucking bad. Make everyone laugh with what I say. I want to be on the cover of Albuquerque Magazine. Top 10 rising comics of the scene. Oh, every time I close my eyes, I see some stupid names in lights. A different last name from the same dumb guy, all right. World better prepare for when I'm a comedian. Ready? Yeah, I would have a show like Rogan. I would be the host of every day Christmas, shooting gun in Texas. I'll probably buy a plot of land up in Memphis and can tell Buck, hey man, can you open up this shit? Give away a few Mercedes, like, hey, give me some crypto. Oh man, it's not as funny as I thought, but hey, let me tell you this, yo. Hold the fuck up! I got a fucking problem. Come on, man. Crowd, let me let me talk to the crowd before I talk to the weak ass judges over here. Did y'all think he deserved that? You know what's so funny? As the host, I hear yes. No, I hear no, but I'm seeing yes. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Yo, if, if anybody that wasn't here last time don't know, that's the funniest shit so far tonight. Because the last time he performed, they was like, every time you perform, you do the same shit. 
I thought Angel did great. Y'all give it up for Angel, man. God damn. He won me over with the McDonald's shit. I was like, I'm hungry than a bitch. I feel you. I'm ordering Big Macs on my phone and shit. God damn. I, okay, let me go to the judges. Kurt, turn your mic on, man. Yo, why the fuck did you gong Angel, bro? I was waiting so long for a punchline there. This is like the thrift store version of Adam Sandler. Oh, and God damn. Oh, God damn. He dreams of being a comedian. He should go back to sleep. He's oh. a talented guitar player, though. Oh, God damn. Bad props there. That was funny as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't even think of the Adam Sandler shit. <laughs> no, Angel did great until he, you were, the joke part was good. Then you started singing and fucked it up, bro. All right. Let's keep this show going. Next up, this guy got very angry the last time he got gone. He looks like a school shooter, so y'all be open. Y'all be on the lookout. Give it up for Caleb Mulkey. So guys, how you doing tonight? Hell yeah. Dude, give it up for your dope host, 50 Cent's Torso. <laughs> Up here killing it, man. Oh, man. I bet you do. Um, I, uh, any, any strip club goers here? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm like the worst person to bring to a strip club. I see, I got, I got ADHD and anxiety. So when I go to a strip club, it's just a lot of apologizing, you know? And like, if you buy me a lap dance, it's a wasted money, because I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be paying attention at all, dude. I'm gonna just be trying to figure out where all the lasers are coming from, you know? And where the fuck her nipples went, you know? <laughs> no idea. Yeah, dude, I'm the worst man at a strip club. My sister hates that I would even go to a strip club. My sister's a born-again Christian. And she's like like a legit born-again Christian. She believes that Jesus Christ is going to show up next week, you know, which is extremely inconvenient, I'll be honest, you know, because lumber prices are higher than they've ever been, you know. See, I didn't, she, she's my half-sister, my family's weird. My dad's been married multiple times, my mom's been married multiple times, you know? My mom, I actually didn't meet my biological mom until I was 20 years old, you know? And a lot of my friends think I might have some sort of an Oedipus complex because of it. Now, if you don't know what an Oedipus complex is, it means I might wanna fuck my mom. But, Listen, you don't gotta worry, I don't wanna fuck my mom. Like I said, my mom's been in eight marriages and I don't fuck sluts, so, you know. If I'm being real honest with you guys, lately I've been, I've been lonely and I've been horny, you know. So I jumped on Craigslist to buy a hooker Turns out they don't sell hookers on Craigslist anymore. You know? So I bought a dog instead. Yo, calm down, calm down. Listen, I was lonely and horny. Now I'm just lonely. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, my motto has been, I'll fuck anything that walks. And then I match with a girl in a wheelchair. I'll fuck anything. Oh. <laughs> you know? In a wheelchair? Come on, guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Recently, recently, talking about my sex life, <laughs> recently I, I, I was at a, a lady's house 
Um, she was an older lady, but I couldn't quite tell how old she was, I'll be honest. I kept trying to use context clues throughout the house to figure it out, you know? Um, and I think one of the context clues kind of threw me off. I went to go use the bathroom, went to grab some soap, and she put all her soap in, in like ceramic soap containers, you know? And she had, she had, shut, wh who are you? Um, anyways, this, this lady put all of, her, all of her soap in ceramic soap containers. I went to grab some soap and I had a handful of lotion, you know? It wasn't soap, I didn't know what to do with it, so I just jerked off, ruined the whole night, you know? So I knew she was an older lady, and then I realized how old she might be because I, I saw the dentures next to, her, next to her bed stand, you know? But then I saw the crack pipe next to those dentures. And you guys have a great night, thanks so much. You're gonna gong me, bro. Do it, do it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, give it up for Caleb Mulkey. Yo, yo, Prince of Trailer Park looking ass out of here, man. He said, I have 50 cent torso. That's the funniest shit I done heard. Cause I look like I'm upright too. Like how he was struggling down, I'm like struggling up, fuck that. <laughs> he gonna make me go check my blood pressure after the night. All right, let's keep it going. Wait a minute, hold up, before I keep it going, I'm gonna give it to the crowd, I'm gonna give it to the crowd. Do y'all think, are y'all gonna say that was a gong for Caleb? Is that a gong for Caleb? All right, so Caleb, you still alive, baby, you still alive. I'll tell you this though, let me give you some advice though, Caleb. When you hit the top, bro, that's it. You kept going. You gave him the opening to gong you, but the crowd saved your ass, all right? Yeah. They saved you. That's why we have the crowd. So Caleb is through. Caleb is through. All right, let's keep this going. Give it up for your next comedian, Troy Wilson. Hey, it's hump day. Who's trying to fuck? Not to brag, but uh, I was fucking this guy in the ass today, because where else do you fuck a guy? Whose mouth has been duct taped shut? Thank you very much for outing yourself. That's... All right, okay, we got through it. We got through the first joke, that's good. ATM, you guys know what ATM stands for? Okay, I heard a lot of answers. Uh, I heard the correct answer. ATM is one, uh, ass to mouth. Yes, this, ATM is ass, and it, it is ATM if you're a performer in the adult industry. <clears throat> but it got me thinking like, is ATM the sexual equivalent of farm to table? No? Wait. Locally sourced? 100% organic? Oh, this is not an ass-eating crowd. Okay, fuck you guys. Hey, he said I got two minutes. No. Well, well, well. Y'all give it up for Troy Wilson. The funniest part about Troy's set was when he was talking about eating ass, the woman who's about to give birth was like, fuck no! I like dick in the vagina. <laughs> fuck that amateur shit. What's up with white dudes and gay ass shit? Like, come on, man, like. Nothing against it, but like at least be gay, bro. Like, you, like I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, let's go to the judges over here. Vernon, you got the mic? I got it. I got it. All right, man. You came over here with your twinkle toes and you. 
Vernon, Vernon was like, I'm gonna dress up like the gong. That's what's gonna kill him. <laughs> the gong Air Force Ones I got on. Uh, <laughs> This is a really obvious question because the crowd basically told you. Why did you go on Troy? Man, he started off terrible as shit, bruh. How you gonna start off with a, a fucking a dude in the ass joke? What? <laughs> that shit was so whack. No, but it would have been dope if I knew he, that's what he did. Like, we don't have a problem with that, but don't fake it. Like, really put it that's, in the dude's ass. Like, that's what I'm saying. I, I ain't got nothing against it. If you're gonna be gay, be gay. Yeah, cool, but, but, but don't fake it. Don't like, fake it, bro. That's like, that's like Ronzi talking talk about, fuck, can I say nigga? No, you can't. You can't do it. You're not one of us. No. <laughs> All right, let's keep this shit going. Crowd, are y'all still with us? Rebel, y'all still with us? Yeah! At this rate, I'm gonna keep the $200. God damn, everybody getting gone. Next up, new, 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 new to the gong show. Give it up for Richard Wolfson. You guys know what the ADA is? If you don't, it stands for the Americans with Disabilities Act. And it applies to all people with disabilities, whether you're, you look like me or you can't see. But William Wheeler, having braces does not count. You don't, you don't get access to that shit. So, so, okay, my lawyer, whose name happens to be Rudy Giuliani, told me that. Okay. What the ADA does, you have to give reasonable accommodations to people who are disabled. And Rudy told me that what that means is, unless I get at least 90% of the laughs of all the other comics, somebody's going to jail. Okay, okay, okay. It, it might be the judges, it might be the host. Okay, yeah. And you don't want that shit because he's black and you know what happens to black dudes in jail. Nothing good at all will come of that, so keep laughing. Okay. Robert appreciates that. Okay. 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 So I turned 70 this year and okay. Okay. so my question is, how many people out there were born after 1980? Clap if you were born after 1980. I got some bad news for you people. You're not gonna live to be 70. Cause, cause climate change is coming. By 2050, your ass will be burned up. And I don't mean in hell, I mean here in New Mexico. So I thought I'd tell you what being 70 is like, because your asses will never live that long. <laughs> the first thing is, you have enough money so that you can go to any concert you want, which is a good thing, but there's a lot of bad things too. Yeah, I go to a lot of fucking doctors <laughs> all the time. So I went to my dermatologist and he cut my skin cancer off my head. It's right here. Balls, so you can't tell. <laughs> but at, I was reading the brochure and it said, after you have this surgery, you can go back to work the next day. And I said, that's great, doctor. Not only are you going to cure me of cancer, but you're going to find me a job. <laughs> that's wonderful. Okay. And then I, w then I went to my cardiologist because nobody ever lives to be 70 unless you go to a cardiologist. They're life-saving. So my cardiologist said, Richard, you have the blood of a 20-year-old. So I thought, what am I going to do with that knowledge? So on, on the way home, I stopped and had lunch at Vigo's Vegan. And, and then I dyed my hair purple. Okay. And then I took all my money and put it in Bitcoin, like, like all 20-year-olds. And then I took out a $50,000 loan to get a degree in cat psychology, like, like all 
20-year-olds. And finally, like all 20-year-olds, I moved in with my parents. <laughs> which is a problem for me because they've been dead for 50 years. <laughs> okay. Before they died, they said, Richard, do not come home. As I went to college, do not come home until you cut your hair. So I think they're still fucking waiting for me. Because <laughs> hippies do not cut their hair ever. Okay. So I, that's my apology to the crowd to inform you that you're all going to be fucking dead before you hit my age. Okay? Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, people. I apologize. Okay, that's my bit. Good night. My name is Richard Wolfson. And Give it up for Richard Wolfson, y'all. Give it up. God damn, that's the funniest corpse I ever fucking been in front of. Shit. How the fuck does how, how, how does Angel and Troy feel right now? You got a dead man is funnier than y'all. God damn. He came up here and killed that shit, didn't he? Richard is on Medicaid. I know that damn much. <laughs> motherfucker cut cancer out of you and send you back to work? That's Medicaid like a motherfucker. <laughs> that shit was funny in a bitch. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Give it up for your next comedian, William Wheeler. Yo, what's up, everyone? Yeah. Yo. I haven't seen Richard Wolfson in like a year and a half. And like 15 minutes later, he's like shooting shots at me. And y yes, I have, I'm 31 years old with braces, but the, the dentist said like, hey man, think of all the barely legal porn you can film, you know? Like, you, you think you got a strong hand? You think I won't make fun of you? Like, you stop chewing cigarettes, Richard. Like, <laughs> God damn, it's just bad for you. I mean, my biggest vice is that I drink so much coffee, I make smoking crack look like a healthier option, okay? I mean, but you gotta understand, if you drink so much coffee in one sitting, for a gleaming 30 minutes, you'll see what it's like to be Chuck Norris. Mm -hmm. I once ran around the world so fast, I punched myself in the back of the head. It was amazing. Oh, but like, uh, I like, all right, let, let's start to set off on the count of one, two, three, all right? On the count of three, let's shout out Gong, all right? So on the count of one, two, but you know, if we decide to say it in Spanish, it's gonna sound like this, uno, dos, tres, right? Oh. So on the count of uno, <laughs> dos, but you know, if we decide to say it like a Jehovah's Witness, it's gonna sound like this. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I had a hard time writing jokes for, for this thing because my pen was being an asshole. So you know what you call a, a pen that's acting like an asshole? Be like, hey, you fucking bick. You know, so I went to the store. I went to the store and I went and bought me a fountain pen, all right? Because after, the, after my pen was being a bick, I'm like, uh-uh, no more will I be a, a ballpoint bitch, okay? Fountain pen. Oh, ah, 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 I swear to God, don't you do it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, I have, I, so I, I'm making, I, I see you're having a reaction to someone's being uncomfortable, okay? So, my, I, my, so, so, so motherfucker, all right. Damn. I'll find you in the parking lot, Jamal. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Y'all give it up for William Wheeler. It would only take two light-skinned niggas to come up here and have a discussion about gonging some trash comedy. Should I do it? No, should you do it? I should do it, huh? Let's give him another chance. <laughs> light-skinned dudes, funny as hell, ain't they? They all nice and dainty. <laughs> all right. Who, who actually gonged them? Was it you, Josh, or was it Jamar? It was Josh? 
It was Jamar. I was about to get him, though. I was uh -huh. trying to give him one more chance. They were shouting for him. No, they wasn't. They was telling you to gog uh, his ass. That's yeah, what yeah. it was. He lost me a gleaming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jamar Hall. Give yeah. it to Jamar. Why did you gong William I've Willie? never seen a comic beg for mercy. He's like, hold up. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, brother man. I was like, nah. Get his because ass. you're light-skinned and you let him negotiate with the fucking gong. Yeah. There's no <laughs> negotiation. When you get up, gong his ass. I'll be like, well, no, give me hey, one. The hey, crowd was a bust, though. It was a whole brother of I, I, I know. <laughs> Y'all are the light-skinned Harlem Heat. Y'all tag team this shit. The crowd was like, just gong this motherfucker. Like, please. Please, hold up. God damn. <laughs> nah, mm, I can't have that. You see how Vernon, the dark skin, he just comes straight over here <laughs> with his Aladdin shoes and just hit shit. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going, you guys. Rebel, y'all still with us. Make some noise. Yeah. I need the energy. I need the energy. You give it up for your next comedian. Give it up for Joaquin. Very yes, good. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. I like my women the same way I like my shots of tequila. Bottoms up, baby. I went and got my very first professional massage last week, and I was so nervous, man. I was afraid I was going to get a hard on. Silly me, my massage therapist got one first. <laughs> Next day, I tried. I decided to try out doing uh, some yoga. As soon as I walked into the uh, yoga class, my instructor started licking her lips. Didn't know a woman could bend over that far. <laughs> My wife and I are the perfect match for each other, man. I love eating tacos de lingua, and she loves my lingua and her taco. <laughs> the hottest sex I ever had in my entire life was during my college fraternity initiation. I had to fuck a jalapeno. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> uh, for Valentine's Day, I started thinking about Cupid. You know that little dude that flies around shooting love arrows at everybody? Shipping, you get all Twitter pitted and stuff. I believe the original Cupid was blind. Seriously, he'd be flying around indiscriminately shooting love arrows every which way, you know? Shipping, shipping, shipping. Nine months later, God calls him into the office. Hey, blind boy, get in here. Turn in your bow, turn in your love arrows, you're fired. But why? I'll give you three reasons why. Platypus, mermaid, centaur. Now the problem I have with Valentine's Day is that retailers have brainwashed you into believing you need to drop three months pay on an overpriced piece of junk ass jewelry, flowers, and a fancy ass dinner. Well, guess what? The original Valentine's Day was the start of the season where birds pair off and mate. Uh huh. If the nest is a rocket, don't come a knocking. <laughs> The, I, this year, my wife and I will be married. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Here, I thought you had a disability. You had to have a disability to get through this shit. That's some crazy shit. You cold-hearted than a motherfucker. It would be a white dude to do that shit, huh? White people don't give a fuck about the disability. Move your non-seeing ass out of here. You're not funny. The fucked up part is everybody else can see when the gong person is coming. Joaquin. <laughs> Joaquin was going through his bit, and then I fucked a jalapeno, and then a taco gave me some ass. Boom, what the fuck? <laughs> no warning, no nothing. That's. Hey, that's just how it go. I don't give a fuck what you got going on in your life. If you're not funny, they gonna gong you. All right, let's go, Joaquin. I, I, y'all, well, fuck that. Y'all give it up for Joaquin, man. Give it up for Joaquin. 
Let me, let me try it again, Joaquin, because I want to let you know how many people are really in this motherfucker. Rebel, give it up for Joaquin once again. There we go. That's how many people in here that you didn't make laugh, Joaquin. Uh, <laughs> fuck y'all, that shit, this is my show. Uh, give, let's go to the judge over there. Yeah. Ev Evan, come on, bro. You didn't, come hey. on, bro. He hey. got better parking than us, is that's why you mad? Nah, nah, nah. I had to do it to him. How's, how's a blind dude having more sex than me? <laughs> Yo, real shit. Yeah, I was fucking everything. <laughs> I, had to, I had to stop him, man. You, so you was We jealous. all need a chance, right? You, like, you, was, you was jealous, that's what he was. Oh, yeah, pure jealousy. Hey, Absolutely. That shit's funny, bro. Fuck that. Uh, let's keep it going. This shit is fun. Rebel, y'all still with us? Make some noise. Rebel, y'all still with us? Give it up for your next contestant, comedian Robert Eister. Man, for a while we were worried that it was like just gonna be Joaquin in the final with Richard Wolfson and Kayla Mulkey. <laughs> And like, it'd be a weird final where Richard Wolfson's the only one that's able to make eye contact. Oh. Just Kayla Mulkey super on the spectrum, you know? But you gotta respect Kayla Mulkey a little more. You know, like, it hurts me when people are like, he has school shooter vibes. Because you're here, you've realized we all have school shooter vibes. I haven't met a comedian that doesn't have school shooter vibes. Joaquin has school shooter vibes. He just wouldn't be good at it. He's not gonna get the job done. Fucking so excited for the gong show. I didn't sleep last night because of the gong show. I didn't sleep last night because I was so excited. I didn't sleep because I was on 100% excitement. Yeah, no, I was on like 15% excitement. The rest was probably baby aspirin. I'm hoping. It was mostly cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so excitement is my euphemism for cocaine. Now, okay, so did you guys hear about that guy in the air balloon that died? The hot air balloon? They did a toxicity thing on him and they were like, he had a lot of cocaine in his system. That struck me as odd. Cause cocaine doesn't seem like a ballooning drug. <laughs> like cocaine is the kind of drug where you go and you perform at a gong show. It's not a ballooning drug. Like no one's there just like, Let's fucking go! <laughs> Fuckers like wicker? We got a lot of wicker here. What a dope ass wicker. I'm all excited to do the gong show. Like I wanted to do the gong show. Cause I, like I love this whole concept. It's like doing comedy and appropriating Asian culture. I'll know Ruto run the whole way there. Fucking love that shit. Uh, got a girlfriend, she's Mexican, but like pretty pale. Like she's Mexican, but she could be passing, you know? Like she's Mexican, but I feel like if the coming race war happens, she'll be good. Like I can be like, oh, she's with me, and they'll believe her. She'll be like, why do we go through, you guys don't have tacos. I'm like, yeah, but we have more guns. We have a weird number of guns. And you're just gonna have to eat some potato salad with raisins in it. That's gonna be your life now. My mom, last Tuesday, thought that it was St. Patrick's Day, and she wished me a happy St. Patrick's Day, and I had to be the one to tell her, like, it's not St. Patrick's Day. And it was bad, because she'd been wishing people Saint, like happy St. Patrick's Day the entire fucking week. She yelled at someone at Swiss because the cost of cabbage was too high. She's like, what about the holiday? So I'm just happy like her dementia's gonna be festive. <laughs> like moving into the future, as she gets older, like it's gonna be Christmas in July, probably a lot. And I'm fine with that. Oh God. Man, I'm so, like, thanks Mark J. Man, I'm pissed when I heard that we were going to war with Russia. Cause I'm like, am I, my, am I turning into my dad? Are we gonna have the same enemy? I thought we were gonna fight someone new. I wanted to fight aliens. 
Like, I knew we were gonna have a war during our time. I wanted it to be like Independence Day shit. Yeah. I wanted them all to come down and have their ships kind of look like dicks, but they don't know it. Because they don't know what human genitalia looks like. They got alien shit going on. The whole time, like, we're just laughing about it. We think it's fun. That guy. My girlfriend has trouble separating the art from the artist, which I don't like because Remix to Ignition is a dope song. <laughs> like, I want to be able to listen to all the R. Kelly I want to, regardless of the shit he did. Because me not listening to Remix to Ignition doesn't allow someone to just be free now. Like, I love listening to Michael Jackson, and if I don't listen to Michael Jackson, it doesn't unlick those kids' buttholes. Like, those buttholes are still licked. No fucking matter what. Ugh. All right, guys, have a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Give it up for crazy ass Robert Eister, y'all. Give it up for Robert Eister. He almost lost it. I heard the, the, the booze billowing in the back back there. But he brought it, I know, it's, it's rough. This is a hard, this is some hard shit. I'm gonna tell anybody, I tell anybody this, people come to comedy shows and they be like, I'm funny, I can do it. All right, bring your ass up here and see if you can do it. This shit is not fucking easy. You gotta be on at all fucking times because you got assholes in the crowd like me and all of y'all that we're like, we paid a thousand dollars, make us fucking laugh. Real shit. All right, Rebel, y'all still with me? Make some noise. Y'all give it up for the original American. <laughs> Why do you come after the white guy? That's some bullshit, ain't it? You should've came first, like history. Give it up for Josh Fournier! I was gonna keep on dancing, but like I know how y'all drive in the rain, so don't worry about it. I'm gonna stop right there. <laughs> y'all for real, y'all can't drive in the rain, huh? If I fucking two-step right now, <laughs> snow, bro, everywhere. It'll be like cores and all. You know what I'm saying? You guys are. Like, That's why I got caught in a snowstorm not too long ago on cores. Shut down the highway. I had an infant in my car. It wasn't mine. <laughs> it was there. Don't ask questions. It was cold, they shut down, like, literally the cops were like, you can't go down the hill right by the mall. I'm like, but I have an infant. I'm with a child. <laughs> They're like, sorry, dude. I had to get my girlfriend to bundle up and walk like a fucking original savage, you know what I'm saying, through the snow. You might be asking me, why didn't you go, Josh? I'm like, well, I just made a couple payments on this car. I'm not leaving this car, dude. I don't even know this kid. <laughs> this lady in the next car, she came up, she saw we had an infant, and she's like, here. I have a blanket for you, for the baby. That's it. Mm, no. You're white, I'm native, dude. You can't give me a blanket. What the fuck's wrong with you? Huh? Really? I'm not even scared of COVID. I'm scared of SARS. What's up? Is it smallpox? Mm-mm. <laughs> you guys are wild, bro. Albuquerque's crazy, bro. Like, I'm here so much, you get used to the Albuquerque shit. And then you'd be like me, travel for comedy. I went to Wyoming and got a haircut from a guy with no neck tattoos, and that tripped me out. <laughs> you sure you cut hair? What's going on? Trust me, man, it'll be good. I don't know, dude. I don't know what a fate is. It's weird, bro. Albuquerque girls are different, too. Like, during the pandemic, I supported a lot of local businesses. Give it up for that, fuck yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all support local businesses, too? Fuck yeah, dude, I started buying girls only fans, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Support the cause, you know? Albuquerque girls are different, cause like, you know what I'm saying? You go to like their Instagram and it'll be like, Aiden is my king, also watch me spread my pussy for like $5. That's crazy. 
It be like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, Aiden needs milk, let's go. I felt like I was back at Fantasy World, bro. Stretch marks and loose pussy. It was crazy, bro. I was like, hell yes, son. Oh, oh I got stretch marks too. Don't be, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got a D average body. I ain't scared, bro. I'll show my, I'll, I'll show my tiger steps right now. No, I won't. And subscribe to my OnlyFans, Bigfoot Little Toes. OnlyFans is a lot like comedy, bro. I was sitting there watching that in the crowd. I was like, I could do that. <laughs> this gets rough, bro. Nobody wants to see native feet. It looks like moccasins. It's crazy. <laughs> Just sitting there oiling your feet after a long day. <laughs> we're on a, we're, like, there's already the Ratchet Girls up there. Shouts out to the Ratchet Girls. Hell yeah. <laughs> Pull your titties out. You ain't down, fool. <laughs> Show me your nipples first. I like ratchet girls, but you know how I like more? Old women. You ever hit on an old woman, dude, Red, huh? You ever spit game to an old lady, bro? It's easy for me, I'm native, bro. That's what they want. You know, you go to like FX and you get all the douchebag guys, and yo, I got drugs and coke at back at my house. And all like, the who just like, I want that. I'm native, I hit on old women, I'm like, I know a guy at the casino. They're like, I want that. <laughs> What's up, girl? Huh, you want free play? <laughs> Talk to the big chief, what's up? <laughs> bingo hall, huh? I'll play bingo on your body, bitch, what's up? <laughs> I do, dude, I'm nasty, I don't care, you know what I'm saying? I'll play, I'll play bingo on your body without a dabber, with my mouth, but just hickeys all over. You ain't ready for that. <laughs> play blackout on your body, huh? Bingo. <laughs> you young guys, if you step your game up, bro, these young hoes, you try to spend these young hoes money, they ain't got none, you know what I'm saying? Unless they got an old, old OnlyFans account. These old ladies, they got money. They'll die soon, too. You just gotta be nice to them. You relate to them, talk to them, you just read the news today, and just let them go, they'll talk forever. That's all you gotta do. It's crazy. And then when they die, you just bury them there, dude, you know what I'm saying? It's where we buried my grandma's at the casino. She passed away, we cremated her, and I was a native. She's like, I wanna be buried someplace that's sacred. It means a lot to me. So we took her to Sandia. <laughs> Ever walk around the casino floor with a pocket full of Nana, huh? She's like, oh, blessing the machines. It's good. Buffalo! That was her favorite one, dude. I gave a little bit of extra love to that. She liked to play a lot of pie gal. I went to the pie gal table. <laughs> Just a whole lot of Nana all over. <laughs> That's why they put up those shields, because of me. That's <laughs> what she would have wanted. But my Nana was big, so there was a lot of ashes. <laughs> After about five minutes of sprinkling Anna, you just find like all the stack of uh, <laughs> ashtrays. I'm like, this is fine, it's good. <laughs> but like I said, I like traveling for comedy, bro. People ask me dumb questions. They'll ask me questions like, are you really native? I'm like, yeah, I really am. They're like, what's your favorite Disney movie? I'm like, oh, what? It's Pocahontas, right? What the fuck? Oh, no. Crazy question to ask me, but I'll answer it. I ain't scared. Up. I love the movie Up. Fuck yeah, right? It's a cute ass movie. Cause it's the one time as a native I get to watch white people get relocated from their home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, my name's Josh Renee. Thank y'all so much, man. You guys have been great. Holy shit. Do it for your host, Buck D, y'all. Yes, sir. Good shit. Y'all give it up once again for Josh Fournier. Josh, when I fuck old bitches, I'm, a, I'm called a silver surfer. That's what I call myself. I fuck for social security checks. <laughs> That's good money. This shit come in every month. <laughs> All right, Rebel, are y'all still with us? Make some noise. Yeah, I love the energy in this room. I love it. I want to thank every one of y'all for coming out here. Y'all could have been doing anything else. You could have been doing crap. You could have been on your bike, stabbing people on Central. You could have been doing any fucking thing. <laughs> I feel like that was jo Joaquin. Where the fuck was you at when the dude was on the bike? I feel like that was you, bro. You was mad nobody was giving you no pussy, bro. He was like. Where was you at? You still ain't answered my question. Where was you at? 
He's like, ah, shit. And he figured me out. If there was a blind guy to ride a bike, it would be Joaquin. No, that's, I'll give you that. So let's keep it going. You guys give it up for your next comedian, Nathan Todd. What's up, y'all? Oh man, I love this crowd. You guys look like you got on an airplane shuttle from some port and you were like, what's happening in Albuquerque? But take me to a happening and you showed up at a strip mall comedy club. That's fucking cool. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> what was I gonna tell you guys? Fuck, I've had a few beers, that's cool. <laughs> oh man, this is going great. You know what really scares me? <laughs> is you guys fucking ain't got no masks on. What the fuck is up with that, dude? No, I'm just kidding. Your faces are beautiful. Your faces are beautiful. <laughs> Give it a minute. Give it a minute. I just want to address, I want to address the pink elephant in the room. You know, I got a racist face. That's fucked up, man. I look like Elmer Fudd fucking had sex with uh, Zach Galifianakis in Denver. Right? I don't know. Dude, don't, dude, gong me, gong me. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> if any comedian looked like he was gonna get gonged, it was Nathan Todd, y'all. Bro, you came in here with a room full of minorities and said you had a racist face. Look at Joaquin leaving because he saw how you look. <laughs> Joaquin's I like this bitch. Fuck that racist motherfucker. But, but, <laughs> wait, I think the only way you wait, got wait, that... Wait, 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 the only way you wait, got wait, that... wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> how the blind dude walk out on you, bro? <laughs> when you, he took his hat off and said, look at me. Joaquin was like, hell yeah, you look racist. I'm out this bitch. Thought this was an affirmative action place. But, but, All right, so. <laughs> hey, no. Joaquin, Joaquin couldn't stand to see the show. He so. couldn't stand to see that shit. Yeah, he huh? couldn't stand to see that shit. All right, shit. so I gotta ask you though, Vernon, why did you gong Nathan Todd, bro? Bro, that shit was Basuda. <laughs> Basuda. Oh, man. How you gonna pull out notes? Yeah, he pulled out a whole Within notepad, like the he? first 30 seconds, he pulled out his notepad. He was like, my name is Nathan Todd, and uh... Oh, shit. Uh, what, shit, where am I at? Wait, nah. let, me, let me show you what he did, y'all. This is what he did. No, 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 that ain't it. First of all, his hairline was running from his face any fucking way. Second of all, he said, my name is Nathan Todd, and he had to look at his notes to tell y'all he had a racist face. Yeah, and I got a racist face. Nah, bro, that ain't. God damn. You know what? For every funny comic, you got somebody like that. All right? So that's the shit I'll be talking about. You got to be prepared. Rebel, make some noise. Make some noise, Rebel. Anybody else? Y'all, wait, anybody else that's performing? Don't come up here and Nathan Todd this shit, all right? We're going to make his name a verb now. Don't Nathan Todd this shit for the rest of the night. What you got to say? No, the only way he got the stage from Josh, I think you need to change his name to Manifest Destiny. Oh, shit. Only half the room knew that because this is an APS crowd. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know half of y'all don't graduate. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I got to make sure I get my pen. Because what I'm doing on my notes, I, I scratch off your name if you got gone. I'm going to put two lines through Nathan Todd's yeah. name. I'm pretty sure he just he forgot his material because he ran on stage. Do you see him sprinting up there? Yeah, what the fuck was that? Ran out of breath, ran out of hair. Damn, dude. It's a stressful night. I don't want to continue to... Where's Joaquin, man? Come on. Oh, that's fucked up, bro. Y'all done ran Joaquin off. He got blindsided by the bullshit, you know Wa I mean? Joaquin said, I can see he's not funny. Fuck it, we gonna keep it going. <laughs> Rebel, y'all still with us, make some noise. All right, give it up for the very talented Jared Ostrom. That's right, my name is Jared. My mom calls me J-Rod because my dick's curved, right? 
ladies, all right? You're gonna have that J-Rod to hit that G-spot, fellas, all right? That's what I'm saying, guys. My name's uh, Jared again, uh, just like the Subway guy, right? Who fucking likes sandwiches up in here? Am I right, guys? Yes, except instead of him, like, unlike him, I'm not in jail for giving six inches to kids, you know? So that's great, I don't know. Oh, what, well, you guys on Jared's side? <laughs> what are you? You're on that Jared's side or my side, all right? We gotta pick one by the end of this. I don't know, man, I used to look up to him as a kid. I was like, I wanna be just like Jared from Subway when I grow up. You know, and then I grew up and, and things on him grew, apparently, for certain things, right? And now he can't be within 500 foot long subs of a school zone, you know? So, uh, we gotta look up to Jimmy John now. That's, <laughs> It's a trophy hunter, at least he's like an animal guy. That's fair, right? I don't know. It's great, guys. Yesterday was a very special day for uh, white women that collect crystals as two, 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 or whatever. It was exciting, huh? I, everyone's like, oh, it's so significant. Like, what's the significance? You know, it's like, oh, well, it makes sense. Like, because as of yesterday, anywhere from two to 22 countries are probably going to war, all right? For sure, like, and that's the sound that machine guns are making in Europe right now. <laughs> oh, everyone's like, there's magic in the air. That is atomic warfare, all right? It's spreading across the ocean, all right? <laughs> Napalm dust in the air. I don't know, I'm terrified. Well, my best friend is, in the, is technically still in the Marines. Like, he, you know, the four years on, four years off. He's got two years left, and he got a, he got a letter the other day. And it basically, the, basically what the letter said was just, ah. Ah. <laughs> like, Remember how we said you were free? Like, ah, fuck that, you're a bitch still. Come on, what are you doing? <laughs> Get over there. And it's, it's really sad, because I can't tell you how many times I've beat his ass at Call of Duty. Oh, oh, we got a Russian fucking spy in the house, you son of a... We need to gong Jamar after that one. For real? Man. Fuck out of here, bro. Who, who gave the half native a drink? Damn, sorry you had a bad day, Jamar. Oh, Jesus, damn. bro. Calm down. I'm telling you, that's his native side. Stop letting him drink, bro. What the fuck? That's his abusive relationship side. <laughs> All right, uh, give it up for Jared Ostrom with the CNN News Report jokes. <laughs> Basura. Nobody watches the news here. They was like, it's a war? He did the 222. That was like, shit, that's in the South Valley. Fuck over there in Russia. You got a gun on you right now, don't you? That's you at a quinceanera. Hey, <laughs> if, if, if red chili had a noise, it would be you. <laughs> All right, so, damn, do I even want to talk to Jamar? You real aggressive. Jamar, I can tell you jack off, because you strong as fuck with that right arm. Yo, that was my off hand, too. That was your off hand? I can uh, tell. Well, a dude with a hairline like yours don't get no pussy. <laughs> I'll be fucking with everybody. All right, so Jamar, <laughs> look at Vernon. Vernon, <laughs> Vernon, give him your shoes so we can get some pussy. You got the same hairline. You can't talk to uh, him. No, just give him one shoe. One shoe will give him some pussy. All right, Jamar, why did you why did you gong Jared Ostrom? Man, I went all the way to the bathroom and back, and I heard no laughs. Okay. Man, you a damn lie. Shut the fuck up. Look, let me show y'all how black Jamar is. Jared Ostrom gonna beat his ass after this show. <laughs> He gonna get beat up by a white dude named Jerry. But he still ain't gonna make it to the finals though, so, uh, next. All right. Rebel, y'all still with me? Make some noise. It's a lot of motherfuckers getting gone, man. Hey, be, be easy with this shit, man. God damn. No, it's not. Actually, an Asian dude in the South Valley sold this to me. I'm not lying, I swear. Because before this show, we had a symbol. An Asian dude hit me up and was like, I got a gong for you, and he fucking gave it to us. Give it up for the Asian dude in South Valley. Real shit. All right, let's keep the show going. 
Let's bring some estrogen to the show. Y'all ready for some estrogen? There, I don't give a fuck y'all clapping for her now. She's not funny, she's gonna get fucking gone. I don't give a damn. But she's very funny. Y'all give it up for Carla Vasquez. What is up? I am the only vagina on the show tonight. Woo! Damn, they put me somewhere in the middle, just like a gangbang. I don't know. I'm used to that. You know, just like a bunch of guys came before I did. Oh shit. If I win tonight, I will fix feminism, all right? That's how important this is, okay? I'm gonna help a bunch of like vaginas in Texas, all right? I'm helping all of the crisis right now. If I make you laugh, there's a lot of pressure, man. Oh man, speaking of things like that. Do you guys like social media? Eh. It's a lot for me. It, make, it gives me anxiety, social media. Uh, just feels like a lot of things just coming at me at once, like bukkake, I don't know. It's, it's like, oh, I don't know if to swallow or post. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the only female on this show. I was a tomboy as a kid, like so much so that seven years old, I was like, mom and dad, fuck this long, beautiful curls. I want a bowl cut. It was, it was the 90s, y'all forgive me. Please, it was the 90s. And I had like the big soda pop glasses. Very cute, handsome son, child. Uh, yeah, and then I grew out my hair finally, um, but I kept the front of my bowl cut. Cause I was just that attached. <laughs> just that attached, guys. Yeah, it's weird when you're a tomboy and then puberty hits, and you're like, fuck, I gotta think about this now? And my friend, well, a friend of my sister, she was like, yeah, if you want your boobs to get bigger, because again, it was the 90s, you had like Pamela Anderson, you know, Carmen, Le Carmen Electra. And they're like, if you want your boobs to get bigger, you just gotta like pull on your nipples. So I obviously did that which uh, means I like some rough sex. You know, get a mammogram, I'm like, oh, that feels good. Like, <laughs> all that shit. Get that mammogram, um, you know, and then just being a lady too. Well, well, well. Woman hater, that's what he is, I don't know. You, I know you're a successful man. Oh, uh, well, well. Uh, but he still hates women, all right? The power of the pussy. Just remember his vote doesn't count. <laughs> Y'all give it up for Carla Vasquez. Get your ass off the stage, man. Right? The power of the pussy did not save you. Carla looks like Lord Farquhar when he got good pussy under his gut. <laughs> I'll never look at Shrek the same way. <laughs> All right, let's go to the judge who gonged her. Kurt, why did you gong Carla. Man, my pregnant wife came out here trying to laugh the baby out. She had to leave the room so she didn't stay in there for two more months. <laughs> Damn. Bro. Carla gave you a ride, didn't she? That's why you... I got a ride for Carla. That's my ride home. All right, Rebel, y'all still with us? It don't sound like it. Y'all... You sound like how Joaquin sees the fucking crowd, all right? <laughs> Only fuck with Joaquin, because this is my boy, man. I fuck with you, bro. I, you know that. Rebel, make some noise. Y'all still with us? I got a lot of fucking names crossed off this list. Yeah, I don't know why they did the shit tonight, but... Give it up for your next comedian. Very well-dressed. Christian. Arrgh! Bunch of animals, you're all bloodthirsty, it's ridiculous. At least I didn't go first, I didn't get fucked. Yeah, it put me towards the end. Anyways, I got crazy roommates. You guys ever had roommates? I'm telling you this guy's ridiculous. He's crazy or he's a crackhead. I can't get a read on this guy. It's ridiculous. I got home once. I think he was in my room, there was shit all over the floor. I'm like, hey man, it smells like a dead guy in my room, bro. Don't touch my room. You, you see how I dress to look like I go to church and, 
and preacher's clothes or something. I get in there, and I'm like, God damn it, dude. It smelled like a dead guy. And then I'm like, did you fuck with my socks, bro? He's like, I didn't, man, I swear. He's like, you did, because my socks all smell weird, and they're stiff now. The hell were you doing, playing sock puppets in there? Anyways, now I got a foot STD. Yeah, if anybody knows how to deal with a foot fungus, help me out. Yeah. I like foot play, apparently so does my uh, roommate, too. Ridiculous. But I started dating uh, people. I matched with someone on Tinder during Valentine's Day. It was pretty good. Uh, we met. She's like, my name's Denise. It used to be Dennis. I go by they, them. I'm like, makes sense. You go by two names. Anyways, I told her I'm, I'm Christian. I used to be Catholic, you know? Yeah, and I'm bi. I told her I'm bi. Matter of fact, a lot of my family's bi. They're all bilingual. Got a crazy uncle. He's bipolar, you know? Yeah. It's crazy. I do daytime, I do snacks, and at night, I do comedy. So I'm a functional stoner. Goddamn, Christian. Jesus couldn't even save your ass. He did last longer than last time. But that only counts in sex. It don't count up here, goddamn. Damn, Christian. You came up here selling insurance. You weren't telling no kind of jokes, bro. <laughs> he was, he was, <laughs> I was like, if he's here, who's working at the board right now? <laughs> All right, judge. Josh, why did you gong? Why'd you gong him, bro? Oh, I mean, you heard it. You heard it. <laughs> that, was that was rough. That was rough. He that was, was trying, but uh, it, is, it just never took off. Yeah, never. I'm going to tell you guys uh, uh, what we do as comics. When you're up here, you really can't see everybody, but you can hear. This motherfucker had 30 conversations going on during his whole goddamn set. Oh, yeah, for sure. Everybody was talking. He should have gone his damn self and just took himself out of this motherfucker. I was walking up to hand it to him. Yeah, you should have. The pregnant woman just came back. She didn't, she didn't want them bad vibes on her embryo baby zygote. <laughs> let, me ask, let me ask the pregnant lady, why did you get up and leave while he was telling jokes? She said, which time? God <laughs> damn. She did not want that mental retardation on her fucking kid. <laughs> Baby, come out looking like Richard Wolfson. <laughs> Richard about to win this shit while y'all talking. He about to win this shit. But we got some more to go. Rebel, y'all still with us. Make some noise. All right, give it up for your next comedian, Mateo. Man, you can't see shit out there. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Hey, even if I don't last for the gong, I'm happy to fucking be here, guys. Yeah. Thank you for coming out. This is a dope-ass spot. I've never been here before. This is awesome. So I'm Mateo. Uh, believe it or not, I've been married for 17 years. That's like crazy. Which just means I don't get blowjobs like I used to, you know? Like, facts, you know? Like my, so my friend, he was like, yo, I got a trick, man. He was like, try it out. He was like, I put, I put chocolate syrup on my dick. My wife licks it. She absolutely loves it. I'm like, all right, I'm desperate, bro. Like. <laughs> I'll try anything. I got some chocolate, chocolate syrup, bedazzled my dick. That's the official term for that. And uh, his wife absolutely loved it, guys. Yo. Bro, best bow job of my life, I'm telling you. Yo. Look, the fucked up thing, I'm like, my wife, I don't know why she don't like that joke. And like, <laughs> my friend, he really doesn't like that joke. But his wife, like, ah, she only cares that I got the chocolate syrup, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got the Hershey, she makes me nest quick. Oh, anyway. <laughs> oh shit, uh, COVID sucks, right? Everybody, hey, uh, clap if you've had COVID. 
Yo, CDC, we've all had it. All right, let's fucking move on, shit. God damn, it sucked, but like, you gotta like see the silver, what's the thing called? The lines are, fuck, I fucked that up. Anyway, <laughs> the silver linings, right? It's like, I got COVID, I lost my sense of smell, right? Which is like the best thing that's ever happened to my sex life. Cause like, bro, I have been eating ass like it's an Olympic sport, all right? Like, fucking, t look, look, if, if, if eating ass was an Olympic sport, COVID would be banned as a performance enhancer, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> bro, <laughs> fuck that. Yo, fuck you, Norway, fuck you, China. US of A is the king of eating ass. Peace. All right, Rebel. I got to give it to y'all, though. They came over here like the three blind mice and shit. I'm going to, Mateo, I'm going to give you a fair chance. Rebel, do you think Mateo should have got gone? No? No? Yes? I hear a lot of yeses, so yeah, get your ass off the stage. I'm gonna tell you something, Mateo. If you're with a woman and she wants Hershey chocolate on her dick, she fuck black dudes, all right? That's what the fuck is happening. She wants diabetes and dick, all right? That's what the fuck she wants. He acting like it's a real chocolate sundae. No, it's, it's a nigga dick. That's what that is, bro. You just late to the party. <laughs> Look like Jamal when you fuck me. <laughs> Take my car when I go to work. Eat my kids' snacks. And buy me a PlayStation 5. <laughs> I love it that there's only a handful of brothers in here that get what the fuck I'm talking about. Because that's what they do. If you ever a black dude, if y'all, Joaquin, if you ever turn black, this is what you do to Albuquerque. <laughs> you go, you take you a fucking, a train or a bus downtown, they'll pick you up, bro. They have PlayStation and car keys. You was a real nigga then. All right, Mateo, I got to etch you off. Hold up, let me etch Mateo off. I, I gave you a shot, bro. I'm gonna put two lines through Mateo, get your ass off the stage. All right. Yeah, yeah, though, for real. Uh, uh, let me give it to the judges. It was three of y'all. Why the fuck did y'all? Mateo, I thought Mateo was cooking for a little bit. I thought he was cooking. What happened? I think he was stumbling a little bit. I mean, I, I'm white, but I mean, he was too white to have the name Mateo. So <laughs> I, I'm sorry uh, right away. But then I think. He, his biggest crowd reaction is when he asked if we had COVID, and that's just cheating, so. Yeah, 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 I got you. All right, give it to the second one, because uh, three of y'all came up. Can I get somebody else? Jamar, you are a habitual gonger. Don't be calling me no a bitch. A what are you bitch? talking about? Well, I'll just call you a bitch. Fuck the hub. <laughs> 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 don't give a fuck. Why did you gong Mateo? It's a slow start. Slow, like, slow start? No, two, he's, I felt like he's... Dollars. I, there you go. That's yes. what I like. So, okay, Rebel, what y'all don't understand is this is not for clout. This ain't for laughs. This is for $200. Y'all give it up for that. You better be a funny motherfucker to get $200. Exactly. That's a lot of money you can spend on Walmart on Zuni, goddamn. <laughs> you act like you put in on it. Shut the fuck up. This motherfucker loud as shit, ain't she? Who baby mama is that, man? Where are your kids at? Cause boy, it should be my baby daddy to win because I got him on child support. Shut the fuck up. God damn. How, do, how you the loudest one in here, man? This crowd participation? You're not the crowd. Everybody's the fucking crowd. Look at the next comic. He like, I gotta tell jokes to this bitch. <laughs> he's looking at her, he's like, I got you, I'm gonna make eye contact. I'm surprised you can see the stage, them thick ass glasses you got on. Damn. 
I, I look like a hood ornament to her ass right about now. She thought I was burning with the other shoes. It ain't but two black dudes in here. The judge and the host. All right, actually there's three. The next one coming up is your comedian. Y'all give it up for AJ Matthews. Yo, what's good? How y'all doing, man? Fucking love it here, man. This is awesome, watching people get gone left and right, hearing bitches yell. This is amazing, I fucking love it here. Man, you know, I just got back from New York. New York is a wild ass place, y'all. And you know, when you travel, you gotta celebrate true New Mexican style. So I got drunk as fuck, feel me? <laughs> Shit was great, until I tried taking a subway. Subway is packed as hell. Everybody crowded in at the doors and shit. I'm over here drunk, fucking leaning back and forth with everybody and shit. Next thing I know, the doors open, we all flood in. I fall on some lady. She's like, fuck's wrong with you? You never taken a subway drunk? I'm like, actually, no, I haven't. Where the fuck you from? You don't got a subway to take me drunk. New Mexico. What y'all do when y'all drunk? Shit, we drive. I'm on the move, baby. Just get going. I ain't waiting for no fucking subway. I'm drunk. Man. You know, I got to talk about it, man. I'm really sick of this, like, toxic culture that everybody's trying to push. Like, everybody wants a toxic bitch. Eh, I give toxic women one out of five stars. The head was great. Terrible for family dinners, though. You know what I mean? Like, I took this bitch to meet my mom. She tried to stab me and shit. Had to call the cops on her. She got arrested. Then she got out of jail. She called me like, can I come over? I was like, hell no, you just tried to stab me. But then she offered me some head. And I had to think about it, because I can hide the knives. But that head was going to be fire, you know what I mean? It's just the truth. Shit, man. You know, but honestly, that's what made me start fucking with young women. I started fucking with older women, man. I like them a little bit older. I like cougars, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the one. Cougars is it. Rebel, y'all know cougars all up in the house tonight, baby. Yes, sir. Yeah, look, she right here. I'm telling you, cougars is the best, man. Only thing that throws me off with cougars, you know, like, and sometimes, like, how do I explain this to y'all without y'all being like, what? You ever realize you just not the sexually advanced one in the relationship like you thought? Like she just catch you off guard and shit? Like when we having sex, man, like talking dirty is cool. You know, I'm like, yeah, you like that shit, baby? Oh, I love it, Danny. Oh. Okay, cool, yeah, I'm in there. I'm getting it. But the other night she threw me for a loop. She was like, fuck me like you don't care about me. And I really had to like think on it for a second. Fuck you like I don't care about you. So I came quick and I left. I don't know what else you want me to do. Show you I don't care about you. Right or wrong, right or wrong. I'm just saying. And then I like some of these comics, boy. God damn. I'm sorry, y'all. Man. I'm, hey, I'm gonna talk it, man. I'm gonna talk it. I'm gonna talk it a little bit, you know. Man. You know, this is a fun crowd, so I'm going to fuck y'all up real quick. Y'all know Jesus was a black man. I swear, look, it's facts. The Bible says it, skin of bronze, hair like wool. That's Buck D. Now, here's the thing, though. If that's not enough for y'all, think of it like this. We're all his children and he still hasn't come back yet. You can't tell me that's not a brother. It's my Lord and Savior, goddammit. I'm telling you, man. Yes, sir. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. So, 
you know, somebody was up here talking about Disney movies. And, you know, I fucks with one, the Eternals movie. I thought it was dope because it was interesting. They had a gay couple in it. And I was like, okay, that's cool. It shows that progress is being made, right? But I feel like we don't have equality just yet. I'll believe in equality when Disney lets one character say nigga in a Marvel film. <laughs> Look, just hear me out, just one. I just wanna hear the new Captain America be like, nigga's a symbol. <laughs> Boy, I'ma jump out this bitch. Ugh. That's my time, y'all. My name is AJ, peace. Yeah, that's how you fucking do it. Rebel, y'all give it up for AJ Matthews. Damn. He had me looking at myself like, damn, I am Jesus out here, motherfucker. I ain't coming back for nobody. It's a bitch in Socorro that's been waiting for me to come back. I ain't came back since. <laughs> All right, Rebel, y'all still with us? Make some noise. All right, we got one more. One more for the competition. After this comic, we'll bring the headliner up. We'll go back and tally up the fucking votes and then we'll do the final round. Rebel, y'all ready for your last comedian for the gong show? Make some noise! Nah, fuck no. Nah. hell the fuck no. Nah. Every last one of y'all sound like Richard Wolfson is in your throat, goddammit. I need for y'all to act like you got an able throat out in this month. I know you got an able throat. I ain't gonna tell you how I know, but I know. <laughs> you, I know your throat. Your throat been able. Like he said, I'm Jesus, I blessed it. <laughs> I ain't shit. I hope you didn't come with a dude. I don't want to have to whoop his ass. All right, y'all give it up for the last comedian for the gong show. None other than Chuck Parker. How y'all doing tonight? I'm Chuck Parker. It uh, does appear that I have been cast as your own personal Jesus tonight. If you're wondering why you got such a shoddy budget Jesus, maybe you should have fucking prayed harder. I uh, will be turning water into Miller High Life later on though, the champagne of beers, and I'll be healing genital warts with the laying on of hands. So uh, see me after the show, you know who you are. I uh, took an Ancestry.com test the other day for the same reason that any white person takes an Ancestry.com test, maybe to find a little bit of color so that we could brag to our friends at spin class about how we're 157th Native American. And that's why it's not cultural appropriation when we wear moccasins and a full ceremonial headdress to Applebee's. I can't even do that though. It turns out I'm 100% cracker. I'm sorry, honky sapien is the PC term we're using these days. I am a British, Irish, and Scottish, which is the gold, silver, and bronze of depression were an Olympic sport, which makes anxiety, self-loathing, and alcoholism my factory settings. But I don't know what I'm, way, I'm complaining about. My life the last few years has been a Disney fucking musical. I wake up every morning with a song in my heart, and it goes something like, uh, I hate myself, I hate myself, I really fucking hate myself. Drink, 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 hate myself. I'm a piece of human garbage. Ba, 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 God, I fucking hate myself. Ba, 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 you get the fucking idea. I cherish every moment. All right, so let's just make sure that we're all on the same page here, okay? So Pokemon is slavery, correct? I mean... We're, we're capturing sentient creatures against their own will and forcing them to fight each other. How is that not slavery? At the very least, it's dog fighting, isn't it? We sent Michael Vick to prison for two years for dog fighting. Yet we turn a blind eye and let our children participate in this vile blood sport. <laughs> It's fucking disgusting. You, 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 oh, I know that there are some pokey apologists in the audience here tonight that are upset by what I just said. That's just because they've been inundated with images of happy Pokemon frolicking with their loving trainers, which is all just propaganda from the pokey industrial complex. They don't show you what goes on inside those pokey balls. 
They don't show you those squirtles and Bulbasaur emaciated, shivering in pools of their own feces. It's disgusting. The people that participated in it are disgusting. They should be locked up. What the fuck? Anybody into Pokemon here? Just, just wondering. Anybody? Show yourself. Show yourself. Oh, you back there? You back there? Oh, you're fucking proud of it too, aren't you? Sitting on the porch of your pokey plantation, sipping your mint juleps. You sicken me, sir. I, uh, I hate texting, and uh, I'll tell you why. I hate it. Big reason. Thumbs up emoji. Thumbs up emoji. Thumbs up emoji? Why not just tell me to fuck myself? Thumbs up emoji, I pour my heart out to you, and thumbs up fucking emoji, why didn't I just set myself on fire? I am releasing a guided meditation app. In case any of you are wondering, if you, uh, if you wanna follow along with me and my, my guided meditation, you, I do it. You wanna close your eyes and you, you just wanna breathe in, take a nice deep breath. Breathe in. Oh, oh shut the fuck up. And then, and then, uh, and then, and then you wanna, and then you wanna exhale. You wanna breathe out, breathe out. Focus on the breath. Try not to think about the fact that your boss is fucking your wife. Try not to imagine the wet slapping sound of his middle management balls bouncing off of her ass. Breathe in. Breathe out. Empty your mind. Try not to think about the possibility of the cancer that's growing inside your body. You know what kind of life decisions you've made. It's time to pay the piper, you degenerate fuck. The reckoning has come. Breathe in. Yo, what the Breathe fuck? out. Yo. Feel yourself getting calmer. Try not to think about the fact that my set is over. <laughs> I'm Chuck Parker. Thank you very much. Yo. Yo! Yo! Give it up for Chuck Parker. If Chuck was a black dude named Charles, he would have had a heart attack right here on the fucking stage, bro. He angry as fuck. Where the fuck were you on January the 6th, man? You were mad at him, but did you have some buffalo horns on your head? Motherfucker angry than a bitch. He almost lost it until he told old girl, shut the fuck up. A well-placed shut the fuck up will save a lot of shit, y'all. If you're in a relationship, remember what I tell If you don't remember shit else I tell you tonight, a well-placed shut the fuck up will do you a lot of fucking good, all right? It'll do you a lot of good. I... <laughs> Chuck look like he'll fight you right the fuck now, bro. And his, and his hair look better. <laughs> Motherfucker use Perk Plus on y'all ass. They ain't cuss you out. Yeah, Perk Plus. Perk Plus, that's white people shit. <laughs> all right, Rebel, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm looking at my notes here, all right? I got... I got Caleb Mulkey, make, it, make some noise for Caleb Mulkey. I got Richard Wolfson, make some noise for Richard. I got Robert Eister, make some noise for Robert. I got Josh Fournier. After Josh, it was a whole lot of motherfuckers that got gone. Then we have AJ Matthews, give it up for AJ. Lastly, we have Chuck Parker. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring your headliner on. He's gonna kill it.
Then that gives everyone who didn't get gone a chance to regroup. They got six minutes to win this $200. Rebel, are y'all ready for that shit? Make some noise. Damn, I forgot we had a DJ. Where the fuck you been all night, bruh? Motherfucker to drink. Oh, look, you got like 30 drinks over here. Motherfucker woke up scratch. Oh, shit, I'm, I'm at a job. No, you don't need shit. You need to do what Chuck Parker told you to do and shut the fuck up. <laughs> It'd be funny because usually I bring those type of people on the stage and they get real quiet in the motherfucker. So, no, I ain't gonna do it. We ain't gotta do it. We got, we got, we got, real, we got real comedy shit to get into. Rebel, make some noise if you're ready for your headliner. Make some noise! All the way from Phoenix, Arizona. This guy right here, one of the first times I did comedy in Phoenix, I wasn't even booked on this shit. He was like, bruh, will you be here another day to come fuck with me? I couldn't say no. Give it up for Joshua Harrison! Yo, keep it going for Buck D, everybody! Putting this motherfucker on, shit. Buck look like uh, Buck looks like he only got into Muslim because they, uh, he heard about the pies. <laughs> Y'all been looking at this shit all night. You guys got a mic stand with two drinks that can be held here. Y'all motherfuckers are alcoholics out here. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm excited. Yo, yo, make some noise for all the comics you guys saw tonight. I'm excited. Uh, one more time, can you guys get real loud for me? I came here all the way from Phoenix to fuck with y'all tonight. It wasn't that easy either. I hit a fucking snowstorm in Arizona. Do you know how stupid that would have felt to be like, yo, I can't come to New Mexico. I got snowed into Arizona. I did, that shit was, it was a crazy blizzard right outside of Payson. And uh, the, only reason, the only reason why I got here tonight is because I had to follow a Walmart truck. I did through the snow, yeah. I was like, I have to get there. This is a paid gig. So now I know how Tracy Morgan feels. We both got paid because of a Walmart truck. <laughs> I did, uh, I was stuck, I was stuck. I, it, took me, it took me like 50, it took, I had to go like 33 miles just stuck behind this truck in bad snow. And it was me, the Walmart truck, and a little white SUV. And the SUV had on the back, it had a sticker that says, I love anal. Yeah, and I, <laughs> no, I was trying to fucking get here, dumb bitch. I got this. That's why you fall. Yeah, no, but I did, I had to wait 33 miles to find out who was driving, who was driving this SUV that said, I love anal. I, wanted, I, I needed to see who was driving it, so that way I, know, I, I knew if I was gonna have to get horny or not. I knew it was either gonna be a gay guy, a really cool chick, or a proctologist. <laughs> ended, up being a, ended up being a cool straight guy who's driving with his really cool wife. His name was Cody. I did, I tell you, I drove, I drove in the snow until I got to Gallup, to Gallup, New Mexico. And me and my girlfriend, we pulled over at, uh, in Gallup, we pulled over at the gas station right by the hotel. And this uh, white guy saw us, we were looking at the front of, our, front of our car and we were looking at all the snow on it. And he was like, oh, you guys must not be from around here. And I was like, yeah, man, uh, I don't really get to deal with snow too much in Phoenix. He's like, oh no, I didn't say it because of the snow, I said it because you're black. <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys cool if I get dirty out here, Albuquerque? You guys wanna get fucking dirty tonight? Hell oh, yeah. So uh, this one time, this one time I was getting my dick sucked and this chick was using too much teeth and I had to stop her. I was like, yo, 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 baby, I don't like when you're using teeth when you're doing that. She stopped what she was doing. She's like, I'm sorry. Uh, I used to think this guy would like for me to bite his dick while I was sucking it. And uh, I thought it was strange, but I still did it anyways. 
And then she asked me, she goes, what's the strangest thing have you done sexually? And I just looked her right in the face and I was like, well, honestly, this would probably hold a conversation with somebody who's supposed to be sucking my dick. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm glad you guys are dirty. Yeah, I realized, I realized something recently, like oral, like oral sex isn't created equal between the sexes. Like things, things, things that would sound sexy for guys while we're getting our dick sucked would never sound sexy for women. Perfect example, ladies, just imagine a guy's going down on you and two minutes into it, you just hear him go, huh? That's gonna really fuck up the mood, right? You'd be like, oh my God, did he just choke on my pussy? <laughs> you start getting nervous. When it happens the other way, we're like, oh hell yeah, this bitch is ambitious, let's get it. She probably has like inspirational quotes written on her mirror, like never give up. <laughs> Somebody quiet this whore up. <laughs> Somebody choke her out, please. No, it's, just, it's not. Like, oral sex isn't created equal between the sexes. Like, another perfect example, ladies, you'll never go to suck a guy's dick and find a tiny rolled-up ball of toilet paper on it. <laughs> and some of you ladies don't know what I'm talking about because we're fucking gentlemen. All right, ladies, but sometimes you open up your legs, and when you open up that clam, we find a dirty pearl. <laughs> ladies, this is how you know if a guy's ever found a dirty pearl in your clam. He'll just be eating your pussy, and there'll be a, a brief break, and you'll just hear him go, <laughs> You're like, oh, shit, he's gonna beatbox in the pussy. Let's go, hit, hit me with a bass drop, player. And the oral sex, it's just, it's just not great ego. Like, like in, in this, fellas, this is, uh, when it comes to eating pussy, we're never going to be better than a woman's vibrator. Yeah, see? I promise you, we'll never be better. But I got a great piece of advice for you. Fellas, if you really want to, if you really want to please your, your lady by going down on her, just give up. But I live by the philosophy, if you can't beat them, join them. Yeah, yeah, that's why uh, when I eat out my lady's pussy, I just make vibrator noises. <laughs> it's like, wow, 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 wow. Whenever my jaw starts getting tired and I'm ready for her to wrap it up, I just hit her with a wow, 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 wow. I'm a, I'm a mixed guy. We got any mixed people in the crowd? Anybody mixed? There you go, just the back table single chicks. Yeah, I'm mixed. <laughs> I'm mixed. I'm half white and half black. But uh, racially, I identify as a BBC. <laughs> a big black Caucasian. I do. Hey, shut your whore ass up, all right? I fucking sell dick pics after the show for $10 a pop. That's the only merchandise I brought. <laughs> Cash up, what are you fucking buying? You're not buying drugs. This is a quality dick pic, dog. This, you only get a dick pic like this on Zelle, all right? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> this guy's all excited. He said, send me your only <laughs> He's like, me and my lady gonna split your only fans, dog. <laughs> we fucking, we did, we did the budget this month, we got it. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool being mixed. Like, I get to embrace both cultures. Like, I do get to do white and black things at the same time. Like, like I like to wear Jordans, but I also definitely have a bike rack on my car. <laughs> when people find out I'm mixed, they always wanna know which one of my parents is white and which one is black. And uh, my mom's white, my dad's black. So it's great growing up with a white mom because she can never beat me in public. <laughs> or else I just look like a hate crime. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, my mom would yell at me. She'd be like, Joshua, wait till your father gets home. That was funny because we both know that's never going to happen. <laughs> Let's go. 
I was raised by a strong single mom. Yeah, uh, yeah. We got any single moms in the crowd? Make some noise. There we go. Make some noise for the single moms in the crowd, everybody. Not too much, though. They're not even with their fucking kids right now. <laughs> but yeah, I was raised by a strong single mom. It was cool being raised by a single mom. The only downside was I never got to meet who she dated. I only got to hear them. <laughs> oh, oh, you guys, you guys been there? You heard my mom moaning through the wall? <laughs> Just hear my mom moaning with Luther Vandross coming through the background. Luther's like, never too much, never too much. And I'm like, too much, Luther, too much. I'm a mixed guy, but uh, I like to date white women. Cause I don't care how dry my chicken is. <laughs> it's cool dating white women. You just have to, you just have to learn how to live, laugh, and love without seasoning in your life. <laughs> I do, I do. I have, uh, I have a white girlfriend. It's, uh, it's been phenomenal. You guys dating? You, you're not dating, oh, you're, this dude's just friend zoned and shit. Like, he just looked over to you and just found out you guys aren't dating and shit. <laughs> How long have you guys been dating for? Two years? Hell oh, yeah. Oh, th three? Okay, cool, cool. I thought you were drunk and shit. <laughs> three, uh, you, ever, you ever just been hooking up with your lady and her legs, like you'll be on top and her legs give out on her? Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, that happened to me. I was fucking my lady. I was on top and her legs gave out on her. And all of a sudden, I just felt like I was carrying a king-size mattress up three flights of stairs by myself. Is this some asshole on his patio like, come on, buddy, put your back into it. And my lady's, uh, my, my girlfriend, she just turned 26. We have a little bit of age difference. I'm 37. But I'm also really excited now that she's 26. I finally get to get it. Health insurance. <laughs> I just fucking said it. I don't care. I don't care that you didn't fucking hear. I wish somebody, like, I don't dislike you, but I also wish somebody just, like, spit in your face. <laughs> and like a healthy spit, you know? Like, a, like how a chick spits on a dick, you know? Just <laughs> nice and healthy. Yeah, I don't, but like, even though my girlfriend's younger, like, I don't have any, uh, I don't have beef with older women. I just don't like to date older women because they're too honest for me. Yeah, like, uh, I remember I was 21 and I hooked up with my first cougar and uh, things escalated quickly, so in no time we were back at her place doing sex. And she was riding on top and I was 21, feeling real confident. So I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna ask her a question. Yeah, I look her right in the eye and I was like, is this the biggest dick you've ever had? She didn't even break stride. She just goes, nah. <laughs> Second biggest. Larry was the biggest. Yeah. Like, do you know how much that fucked me up as a 21-year-old guy? I'm just laying there on my back while she's riding me, and all I can do is think about Larry's dick. Have you ever just found out somebody existed and you already fucking hate them? <laughs> you guys are the most getting up, walking outside, and coming back inside. Y'all, you motherfuckers here just doing drugs all night, huh? <laughs> I swear, yeah, every motherfucker's been in and out. Like, if, <laughs> if there was no re-entry, everybody in here would be fucked. <laughs> is that where it is? The parking lot's where you go to do all the coke? Yeah, I know, I saw everybody talking about all the coke earlier, and then I saw these giant ass coke beers, and I was like, okay, it fucking makes sense. <laughs> fucking Albuquerque, you'd be like, we do coke everywhere we go, dog. You just don't see, you gotta see a mirror everywhere, every 15 feet. I like to, uh, I've been, uh, anybody here microdose anything? There is shrooms, shrooms, okay. Is that it, shrooms? Okay, cool. I've been, uh, I've been, recently I've been microdosing coke because I'm broke. <laughs> you guys are for sure hardcore. I ain't never, I ain't never gotten a crowd response like that. Like a whole fucking, 
a whole list of Schedule One narcotics just being shouted out at me. What's your drug of choice, my man? Porn? <laughs> he was really. Hell yeah, he was like, I hope he asked me what my favorite drug is, because if I wasn't here right now, I'd be masturbating. <laughs> is, this your, is this your lady? Hell yeah. You watch porn with him? Or you just found out he watches porn that much? You just found out this motherfucker's addicted to porn, and you, huh? This is how it goes down. She's like, so? What are you looking at? Now, what's your favorite porn search? Sasha Gray. Sasha Gray. Yo, white dude, pull that up for me real quick. Let's find out. Let's find out how gross this motherfucker is. Does anybody here know who Sasha Gray is? Oh, you just got the exclusive search, huh? Do you watch porn without him knowing? Huh? No, he won't say shit, huh? This motherfucker all chill and shit. He's like a Hispanic Big Lebowski. <laughs> Somebody, that old fucking Cheech and Chong dude over there. <laughs> he just let out a big old vape. He's like, they're fucking tonight. No, they're not, dog. This motherfucker's masturbating as soon as she goes to sleep. <laughs> What's your name, my man? Yeah. Miller? Why don't you fucking pull up Sasha Gray? Miller, I fucking, you're the only white dude that's close to me. And I thought, I, no, I'm too late fucking now. What do you do for work, uh, Miller? A what? A data scientist. Like, what, what is a regular day of work for you? <laughs> yeah, he's just, he's like, oh, yeah, I just fucking entered data for how much this dude's masturbating and searching for porn. He's <laughs> like, yeah, somebody's got to keep account of how much semen this dude's dumping off. Was this your buddy or uh, your buddy? <laughs> Which one is it? Both? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. I like this guy. He has, he has the hair that you have on your head just on his chin. <laughs> yeah, so when you guys 69, you just look like the same dude and shit. Fuck, <laughs> 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 man. Yo, you guys, you guys been there four years. Are you still, you guys still romantic in the bedroom? Absolutely, hell yeah, you still eating your pussy? Hell yeah, make some noise for me, everybody. He didn't get that big not eating pussy. <laughs> yeah, I hate when dudes say they don't eat pussy. Yeah, like, like I, I, I love eating pussy. I treat eating pussy like eating Thanksgiving dinner. I go back for thirds. <laughs> like, well, man, you ever just eat so much pussy you have to unbutton your pants afterwards? Just go put on your comfy sweatpants. <laughs> oh yeah, this dude knows what's up. Hey, you slow the fuck down. You don't tell me how to do foreplay, bitch. You eating her ass? <laughs> no? <laughs> like, nah, man, she eats too many beans. <laughs> uh, you're driven though, dog. I'm like, I love eating ass. Like, I'll lick an asshole like I'm trying to get the wrinkles out of it. <laughs> Fuck around with me, I'll get done licking your asshole. You won't even recognize it and shit. He's like, whose asshole is this? Did you bring it? I know that one dude bombed with all the news stuff, but I'm gonna fuck with it. Uh, you guys seen they've been talking about Civil War? Hell yeah, they've been talking about Civil War. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of excited about it. Like, could you imagine what the country, like what the energy in the country was like just after the Civil War ended? Could you imagine what it felt like to be a dude from the North and just go down South, just walk up to a Southern dude and just be like, <laughs> and just watch him flinch and be like, that's two for flinching, motherfucker. 
dude from the South would be like, what are you Yankees doing down here? He's like, uh, we're here to fuck your women. Dude from the South's like, hey, you leave our sisters alone. <laughs> Yo, be sick though. Could you imagine if we went to a civil war now? That should be dope. Could you imagine just watching a bunch of dudes in skinny jeans with dangly earrings running around shooting each other? <laughs> We be the, for sure. It's impossible that the South could lose. The South is for sure gonna win. We got fucking Florida on our side. <laughs> could you imagine just giving all of Florida meth and just sending them to fucking all the way up to New York to fucking knock shit out? They be fucked up. Oh yeah, yeah, hell yeah, they get fucked up, dog. Could you imagine like who shot you? He's like Florida man. What's your name, my man? Rue? Hell yeah, you from here originally? No, where are you from? Texas? How the fuck do you end up in New Mexico, dog? My, yeah, uh, fucking, uh, cops don't look here, dog. <laughs> How many warrants are you running from? <laughs> He's like, hey, shut up, dog, I'm here with three chicks, you gonna fuck this up. <laughs> yeah. You guys, uh, you guys have been uh, slightly cool. I've been enjoying this so far. Slightly. Yeah. <laughs> slightly. Slightly. <laughs> what? Are you really fucking confused? You right there in the glass. What is your name? The woman who hasn't shut up all night. What? <laughs> the one time I talk to her, she gets quiet as fuck. <laughs> Lee? Oh, never mind, I hate you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you, I don't think talking to you would go any further than where I'd, uh, I'd really like. <laughs> she just got all those, the her team of cougars over there trying to help her out and shit. Yeah, just a bunch of bitches that nobody wants to fuck yelling at everybody. <laughs> It's like, hey, bitch, ain't nobody fucking us, and I got your back the whole time. I dare you to fucking gong me, dog. You see that? They all hate you. I don't hate you. Yeah, now you just look stupid. Even the blind guy, even the blind guy was like, that bitch looked really stupid right now. <laughs> Thank you, see? The chick I've been talking shit to all night loves me. This is phenomenal. Anybody in here, uh, anybody in here do labor? <laughs> fucking chick said no. Of course not, you're a fucking female, dog. What are you talking about? I do, uh, I do construction work. And there's, uh, there's a lot of you Hispanics here, so I feel like you guys would understand this. Uh, I, don't, I don't speak Spanish. But what I do on the job side is I speak Mexican. And it's real, see, it's really simple. All you gotta do is just, it's a little, it's a little flick of the wrist and a whistle, you just hit them with a <laughs> Yeah. But it's like, but you, when you do that, you realize like how, how strong a whistle, how strong of an effect a whistle can have on somebody. Like, like my man, I, I got you on the beard, but what is your name? What is it? Raisin? Raisat? Raisa? Fuck you, that's the fucking most unsuspecting name ever. Raisa. Okay, Raisa, that's your name. How old are you, Raisa? 38? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for work, Raisa? Physician? Razor, when was the last time you got laid? <laughs> you know, between, between the silence and the talking, <laughs> it's quite confusing. Like, I fucking drove for a blizzard? <laughs> Through a blizzard for this? No, I, this is actually really dope. I'm glad you guys really come out and support your local comedy scene. This is not easy for comics. 
Don't climb too hard. Y'all motherfuckers cheered 80% of these dudes off the stage tonight, but... <laughs> But it is cool, it's dope, like, cause this is, you guys are a smaller city, but you guys really come out and you fucking show out. And it's fucking, yeah, it's dope as fuck. So you guys, yeah, you guys, make sure you keep fucking supporting local comedy, this is fucking sick. You guys don't realize what it means to these people who fucking suck tonight, including myself, you know? I don't know, probably in front of Circle K with a polar bob in your hand. <laughs> I ain't seen the city too much yet, but I'm excited. I ain't never had a virgin flex on me so hard before. <laughs> you see, that was the most fucking virgin run ever. He ran like his nuts have never been emptied. He's just like. That's, a, that's the one difference. Yeah, you guys already came here to hate a motherfucker tonight. <laughs> but uh, yeah, before I get out of here, uh, like I said, you guys were pretty mediocre. That was cool. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I gotta be like my dad and take off. But before I do, uh, I see everybody's been drinking. Like, make some noise if you've been drinking. There we go. Yeah, I just wanna, I just wanna leave you with a little something. I just wanna remind you guys to drink responsibly. I don't like to get fucked up anymore because I got too fucked up one time at this house party and they put me in the side bedroom to take a power nap. And I just wanna remind you all I'm heterosexual. So I was taking a heterosexual power nap. And when I woke up, this gay dude was sucking my dick. I didn't know how to react, so I just started yelling at him. I was like, yo, 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 my man, I don't like when you use the teeth when you're doing that. Yo, Albuquerque, thank you guys for the time. Keep it going for Buck D. Make sure you guys keep supporting this shit. All right, y'all give it up for great value, Jason Momoa. Joshua Harrison. Josh, you know how I fuck with you? You got gone twice and said, kiss my fucking ass. I'm not a part of the competition. That's why I fuck with you. All right, Rebel. Y'all ready to give away this money? Make some noise. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I don't give a fuck. Can't none of them beat me up. I'll keep it unless y'all make some noise. Rebel, are y'all ready to give away $200? Make some noise! All right, so, we had five, actually we had six comedians that made it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give them up to six minutes to win $200. Are y'all ready for that, Rebel? All right, so here's the thing. It depends on the crowd. I know it's a lot of drunk motherfuckers in the back talking. Fuck them, it's about y'all that's here for the fucking show, all right? So, there's six of them, and I'm gonna call them out one by one. We got Caleb Mulkey, we got Richard Wolfson, we got Robert Eister, we got Josh Fournier, we got AJ Matthews, and we got Chuck Parker. So we got $200 to give away to one of these gentlemen. And it's up to you guys, all right? If you don't like them, tell the fucking judges to come gong them. If you do like them, make some noise and make sure they win $200. Trust me, every last one of them need it. Let's go ahead and get it started for your first one for the final round. Give it up for Caleb Mulkey. What's up, guys? I'm back. Hell yeah. Like, like I said last time, give it up for your host, dude. He's been doing a great job. He brought you guys around. This is a great crowd, a very diverse crowd. You know, we got white people, black people, Mexican people, and dumb bitches up there. We're doing great, dude. We're doing amazing up here, dude. I recently quit smoking. You smoke cigarettes. But now I started vaping because I thought it'd be better for my health. A lot of my friends call me gay because of it, which is not okay, you know? Because my health's been great. Fuck those guys, my health's been amazing, you know? My throat has been a little sore, but that's probably from all the dicks I've been sucking. It's just, you know, it is what it is. Grew up in a really strict religious family. I was a Catholic for 
I was actually an altar boy in the Catholic Church for seven years. I originally joined to be, became an altar boy because I thought I could make a little money, steal from the collection plate, you know? But it turns out they'll give you money if you stick around and keep your mouth shut, you know? They'll give you more money if you keep it open, though. You know? But like I said, yeah, I grew up Catholic, grew up in a strict family. I uh, have a baby sister with Down syndrome. Having a baby sister with Down syndrome, you know, it comes with its ups and downs. You know? But mostly downs, you know? Like, I'm a comedian. Spent a lot of time around her. My dad likes to tell her I'm a comedian. He likes to tell her to give me... All right. Yeah. Bang. Yeah, yeah Caleb. I know you was wanting to win that 200. You got to find your way home now, goddamn. That wasn't it. You know you fucked up when you got a Down syndrome sister and you try to use her to win money. And it don't work. I like, I love the fact that this shit runs long because only the real motherfuckers stay. We had the bitch that was pregnant, she left, she gave birth. The husband that was the judge, he left, cause he was like, fuck, she left, I gotta go. The chick that's talking, she not stopping. And then you got Joaquin. Joaquin was like, whoever is the last person here, I'm gonna fuck them. <laughs> we gonna keep it going, cause we have to give away $200, all right? We have to. We really don't, but I'm just saying, we have to. Give it up for your next finalist, Richard Wolfson. <laughs> Hi, I'm still Richard Wolfson, and I'm still 70. And you guys, you guys are still under oath that you promised to give me reasonable accommodation. Being that a lot of the comics didn't get too much laughs, I've raised the limit from 90% of their laughs to 300% of the people who got gong, so it's really up there a lot now. So the reason I wanted to come here was Robert Gibson was once banned from a lake in Texas. So I wanted to meet this guy who was banned from a lake in Texas, but probably by some racist fucking cop. Now, I'm Jewish. We've been banned from a lot of places. We've been banned from Russia. We've been banned from Spain. We've been banned from England. We weren't banned in Germany, but they took care of us anyway. They did a lot of weird shit to us. They didn't kick us out. They just threw us in these, in these dungeons and gassed us to death. So the reason I wanted to mention that was I have a joke. I call it my KKK joke. Now, I, now I've told this joke in the South, and I'm still alive, so. Yeah, yeah. So my guess is the KKK members think it's funny for a different reason than I do. Okay, here's my KKK joke. What do you call a Mexican at a KKK rally? The gardener. Okay, 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 okay. What do you what do you call a Jew at a KKK rally? Lighter fluid. Okay. okay. What, okay. What do, you, what do you call a black man at a KKK rally? Show's over, show's over. <laughs> now I'm fucking with you, go ahead. An idiot. Okay, okay. And finally, what do you call a white man at a KKK rally? Also an idiot. But that's why they probably think it's funny because it's got some racial shit in there. And to the KKK, any racial joke is funny. And then they'll, if it's really funny, they'll burn a fucking cross on your lawn. That's how they get you. So before I was telling doctor jokes, and I have one more doctor joke, I once went to my osteoporosis doctor, and she said, Richard, I have some good news and some bad news for you. 
I said, I always take bad news first because it makes the good news sound better. She said, your bone density has gone down every year for the last five years. And I said, what does that mean? She said, if it goes down for another five more years, we're going to have to reclassify you as an invertebrate. I said, that sounds terrible. What's the good news? So she said, if that does happen, there's a, there's a job for you at the Frog Pavilion, at the zoo. Wow. 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 Rebel, I need for all of y'all to beat Jamal Hall's ass tonight, all right? Yeah, yeah. And finally, finally, I want to apologize to all the other comics because I didn't clap for any of you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, <laughs> I'm terribly, terribly sorry. So, hopefully that will disregard that dopey gong. So, my name is Richard Wolfson. Good night. Hey, give it up for yeah. <laughs> This motherfucker said he ain't clap for nobody, even if he wanted to. <laughs> Jamar. What? It's Black History Month, bro. Yup. Why the fuck did you do that, man? He ain't black. What? You this not either, shit. <laughs> It's hella quiet over here. It was nah, quiet. bro, Richard it was, was real cooking. Quiet. Richard was, was quiet. cooking, bro. He was cooking, man. He, what the fuck, bro? That's a slow roast. <laughs> you see how long it took him to get off the stage, dog? He told a joke five minutes ago and was like, I'm about to leave. <laughs> Y'all ever seen that one Pixar movie with the sloth? <laughs> Damn, I thought Richard was going to win, man. Richard was cooking. Rebel, give it up for Richard Wolfson, man. Give it up for Richard. <laughs> Fuck y'all, bro. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Fuck you, Jamar. <laughs> Richard was cooking, man. Richard was, Rebel, give it up. Wasn't Richard cooking? He was cooking. And it wasn't no sympathy shit, because they already booed Joaquin. They don't give a fuck if you got a disabled man or whatever. He was genuinely funny. They were all quiet because they were trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. Nah, bro, they was quiet because they had to hear what the fuck he was saying. Yeah, I, I couldn't listen to his damn trek hole fucking like, uh, like, no, no. No, we ain't gonna let Jamar do it. If we let Jamar, if we let Jamar do a set, <laughs> boy, this guy would be broke. <laughs> he does a set every Wednesday. Come next Wednesday and bring your own gong. You don't want to see it. God damn, I thought Richard was gonna win, bro. Gong Jamar, Gong Jamar, bro. Gong Jamar. <laughs> Wait, say that again, say that again. Yeah, fuck Jamar, man. No pussy getting motherfucker. That's some bullshit. He was cooking, man, fuck that. Fuck Jamar no, after he ain't this put, show. No, he ain't putting no show together. He ain't done shit. Jamar, yes, fuck Jamar, Jamar bro, after the show's over there. Nah, hell no. Nah. I got plenty of trunk space. You ain't, you ain't getting no pussy. Just like Richard said, you ain't getting no pussy, goddamn. He, <laughs> he booed you for being a judge. I got a backseat that Shut the down. fuck up. Next comedian up. <laughs> Give it up for Robert Eister. <laughs> Fuck Jamar Hall. Fuck it, fuck Jamar Hall. Hey. Fuck it, Jamar Hall's the only comedian that does jokes about his kids not seeing him. And I'm like, good for those kids. That's better for those kids all day. Like, people are wondering why Jamar Hall's not doing a set tonight. Uh oh. And the thing is, the rumor is Jamar Hall goes to other states and tells Albuquerque comedians jokes. So that's why he's not doing a set tonight. Cause he would remember the jokes. You can't gong yet. Oh, you can't gong for petty shit. 
Like, honestly, Jamar, you're not the worst person on the judging crew. Let's go. Like, honestly, I think the weirdest thing on the judging crew is the guy who is the guy who is running 101.3 The Hustle. Because he's a white dude. It's like, I get it. Find your plantation where you can. Just fucking do it. Some fun stuff. Yes, sir. God, I'm glad we don't have the masks now. Because now we can see how weird we all look all the time. And also, open mouth kissing strangers is back in. <laughs> fucking hella dope. Why do you, like, I miss the masks. Like, I miss when people protested against the masks. Like, remember when a bunch of cops just retired? Like, a bunch of cops retired because of the mask mandate? It's like, fuck it, now you won't take the shot? Yeah, because cops shoot a lot of people. That's, uh, that was that. I also think, the, like, we don't talk about how fun the mask mandate must have been for Muslim women. Like, for, yeah, that's like the first time in their life they could tell other people in their life, like, wear your face covering. You can't go outside without it. You gotta fucking do it. And I think that should have probably been super fun for them. Yeah, you know what's not fun for me anymore? Porn. Because I know how time works. Like, I remember being 18 and watching porn stars and being like, you're so young. You're doing your thing. And I watch porn and I'm like, Riley Reed, you're not 18 anymore. <laughs> it's not how fucking time works. Like when you start watching porn, you're like, oh, this is surprising, this is fun. Watching porn now, it's like, stop getting in the bang bus. You know what happens in the bang bus. Oh. Dude, I've been doing a lot of lifting lately. Oh, this guy's gonna do it. Driving a lot of lifts. And I get in lifts, and I don't even introduce myself to people because I'm willing to be human trafficked. Like, I'm 30, I want to travel. Do it. All right. All right, damn. God damn, Robert Eister. You was cooking, too. Y'all give it up for Robert Eister. All right, I may not be a smart man, but what I've learned from tonight is comedians don't understand when they're riffing, they're killing. When they go to their set, they're losing. Because <laughs> when he started talking about motherfuckers, y'all was with the shit. Then he went to his phone and wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah sounds like every dick you ever had in your life, don't it? Shit. Hold up, let me see who's next, because I left my paper over here. Rebel, are y'all still with us? At this, at this current time, I'm gonna keep the $200. Actually, I might give it to her to shut the fuck up. You'll double it? <laughs> Somebody said they'll double it. <laughs> That's funny as fuck right there. All right, so. We're in the finals. The first three got gonged and booed. I still don't think Richard should have got fucking gone. Man. That's some bullshit, bro. But y'all didn't stop it, so fuck y'all too. Next up, give it to the Native American of the crew, Josh Fortgate. <laughs> I thought I was lying about dancing and making it snow. It's snowing right now. <laughs> it's snowing hard as fuck right now. You think I'm lying? Go out there, bro. Fucking turn your car sideways. I'm about to go to Puerto Rico's and just get those trays and fucking cross-country ski home, dog. Don't worry about me. If you see me on the road, to pick me up. I know how y'all drive. Y'all are fucking wild, dog. You guys are over this shit, dog. That table up there is super drunk. You guys are fucking faded, dog. Fuck yeah, dude. And that's fucked up when a native tells you you drink too much. That's when you need to cut it down, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't have a drink. No, here's the thing, you fucked up, all right? Because when people are like, yo, have a drink with us. I don't drink like y'all drink. I'm from the reservation, we drink differently. You ever had Skinwalker juice, bitch, huh? I brought a can of VO5 and popped that shit open, let all the aerosol out, mix it with water, and take it straight to the spirit world. You're not ready. 
I'll have you making fry bread tonight, dude, at your house. Just like, what the fuck? We're in the spirit world, Chavez. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucked up. During the pandemic, though, like, for real, natives, alcohol's illegal on the rest. So natives, we drink alcohol, like, hand sanitizer. Dude, during the pandemic, when they were giving out hand sanitizer, my, fa my family thought it was a party. <laughs> They're like, dude, you're giving out free drinks. Where? At the fucking hospital. No way! <laughs> Take some shots. That's why we can't have Chick-fil-A on the rest. Chick-fil-A, they give out mouthwash in the bathroom. You know that? They open up a Chick-fil-A on the reservation, bro. It'd be the new hot spot on the weekend, you know? Where you going this weekend? FX? No, I'm going to Chick-fil-A, dude. Get some shots on the, on the house, on the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Get faded on a Saturday, go to church on a Sunday. That's crazy. Anyway, oh, that's my time. My name's Josh Bernier. Thank y'all so much, y'all. Yo. I like that, Josh. Y'all give it up for Josh Fournier. Give it up. Goddamn microphones smell like Listerine up in this bitch. He got, how you got cavities with good smelling breath? <laughs> what, what'd you say? What? How your lips sound bigger than mine? What the fuck? She said Are we good with the DJ? We good? I'm good, I'm great. Y'all want a shot, yes. Or whatever. Give me a shot of Listerine. How about that? In commemoration for the only person that didn't get gone. Yep, I want one of those. Yep, yep. You can tell you fuck with niggas. They only... Only the motherfuckers here in Albuquerque know black men like E&J and Crown. But you're too cheap to buy Hennessy. Fuck y'all. Real niggas like Hennessy. Look at the only two black dudes. Hell yeah, you can buy them niggas some Hennessy. All right, so we got one motherfucker in the running for $200. We got two more, though. Give it up. He killed it the first round. This is the final round. Give it up for A.J. Matthews. So fucking sick and Happy to be in the final round, man. You know, I'm gonna just talk to y'all about my life now, man. Shit, honestly, you know, I didn't tell y'all. I moved here from Illinois, you know, Windy City shit. It was cool, man. I moved to New Mexico expecting peace to get more crime. That's where I fucked up. Crime is terrible out here. Y'all shoot everything. Tumbleweed, get that nigga. What the fuck is wrong with y'all, man? Car theft is terrible out here. I literally caught somebody trying to break into my car one time. I ain't know what to do, so I let the nigga keep trying. <laughs> I was just in there watching that shit, too. I walked up on him, I was like, hey, man, everything all right? <laughs> oh, yeah, man, I just locked my keys in my car. They in the uh, glove box. I was like, oh, okay, I see. Well, you know, you can call the cops, they'll come unlock the car for you. He was like, ah, fuck the police. I should have known better than to even offer that solution. So, you know, I keep watching. I got some good ass locks. Took this nigga 10 minutes. And then I had to go, so I put out my keys and opened the door. This nigga looked at me and said, you had my keys the whole time? <laughs> like, no, nigga, get the fuck away from my car. What the fuck? Shit is crazy, man. One thing about New Mexico, though, even though these females been yelling all night, y'all got some real nice people here. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. Like, people in New Mexico, they're very, like, courteous and you know they try and be helpful this is the first place i've ever been to somebody offered me sunscreen i don't know how to politely decline sunscreen so i was just like eh, no nah, i'm all right you know and it's crazy because i work outside so i always you know see all my coworkers going crazy throwing it on they go ham with the sunscreen like you know what i mean and then i'm just standing there like <laughs> inferior mortals <laughs> let the sun cleanse your impure skin I got an HR meeting tomorrow and shit. It's a bunch of bitches, man, a bunch of bitches. You know, man, I came up here and I said something about gay people, and I feel like I gotta tell y'all, man, we should honestly just all learn to love each other. Life would be that much easier if we did, you know what I mean? It's just the truth. Don't matter. You gotta have my Instagram, brother, follow me. But, um, yeah. 
<laughs> get your followers up, look. I ain't suck no dick, but you know, you might see a pic. I don't know, that's it. But nah, man, for real, just love everybody. It is what it is. I don't give a fuck if you fuck funny to somebody. I could never get with gay insults, man. If you think about it, people be calling gay men sissies. <laughs> gay sex is literally twice as manly as heterosexual sex. It's the toughest, ni toughest nigga in the room, goddammit. <laughs> Promise you, man. But with that being said, y'all, I'm gonna be like Josh and I'm out. Yes, sir. Goddamn. Y'all give it up for AJ Matthews. I guess I ain't no man then. Shit. I just learned I'm not a man. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? I know? No, I don't know shit. All right, so we got two people in the runnings for the $200, all right? We got AJ Matthews. Y'all give it up for AJ. And you give it up for Josh Fournier. We got one more. He was very fucking aggressive. Yeah, yeah. You, my man right here in the cap, you fuck with him, don't you? I was watching you. You was laughing hard as fuck. I call him Angry Jesus. Y'all give it up for Chuck Parker. All right, I'm back. It's the second coming. Um, so I uh, went to the grocery store the other day to get uh, cat food and vodka because my cat's an alcoholic. I was uh, screaming at my cat before I came here because uh, I can't afford a therapist. Oh, oh, I can sense some people are concerned about the cat. You can yell at your cat. It's okay. I've decided. Yeah, I would argue that there's no creature more indifferent to human suffering than a fucking cat. Your cat would watch you die with cool indifference. It'd watch the life drain from your eyes while blithely licking their asshole, wondering when you're gonna feed them next. You can yell at your cat, it's okay. If anything, they enjoy the drama. Although that could be why she drinks so much. I, uh, I hate the grocery store. I, uh, I, 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 just to avoid the human contact, I, I go use the self-checkout counter. And I can sense some of you judging me, because I know what the self-checkout counter does. I know that it kills jobs. It undermines unions. It uh, creates further strain on the fabric society, making us all more vulnerable for the inevitable rise of the machines. I use a self-checkout counter every single fucking time, though. You know why? Because I have my priorities straight. Because on the one hand, the fall of man. On the other, eye contact and chit-chat. So it's an easy decision. Fucking mankind has had a good enough fucking run. Sometimes you can't use a self-checkout counter, though. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta pick your cashier. And you know what I'm looking for? I'm looking for a cashier that hates their fucking job, that's dead inside, has a thousand yard stare. Cause those motherfuckers, they move fast. It's just Okay, now I can go back to questioning my life decisions. Know what I'm not looking for? The guy that's fucking happy to be there. The guy that's interested in your weekend plans and would really like to try that. And, 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 and has a pithy little antidote on whatever mundane detail happens to manifest in his six foot fucking square of influence. Like say he's scanning your fucking half gallon fucking jug, jug of rot gut vodka and it comes up to 1975 and he goes into a, I remember 19, no, 1975, 1975, that was the year that I graduated high school. I remember the summer of 75 taking old Tina Cartwright down to the lake and ooh boy, that was a line to remember. Doot! I'd never gotten anything more than a rough tucky behind the harbor freight dumpster from old Tina. So you wouldn't believe it when I pulled her knickers off and what did I see but who the biggest, hairiest beaver you ever saw in your life, son? Looked like the forest moon of Andor. Doot! The Forest of Andor is a Star Wars reference, which is a film that was popular at the time. Although the Ewoks home planet wasn't introduced until the 1983 film, Return of the Jedi, which some people think was kind of a marketing ploy on Lucas's part, but who's to say? Dude! 
1983 was then I was introduced into anal flay and fuck your mother, Jamar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Chuck, get your ass off stage, man. The only reason why they didn't gong you earlier because I told them don't gong nobody till I go piss. And if you know me, it has a long way to go, so it took a little bit, all right? Fuck Jamar. <laughs> Hey, the white supremacist said, fuck Jamar. <laughs> All right, so we got two people we can give away $200 to, all right? Rebel, Rebel, it's not about the judges, it's about you guys. I'm gonna bring them back up here. I'm gonna bring them back up here. Bring. All right, so what I'll do is this. I'll say, fuck all y'all that said Richard and bring up the two that didn't get gone. <laughs> nah, I ain't no asshole like that, I'm not. I really am, though. So let's do this. Judges, there's been an executive decision. I want three, these three people to come back to the stage. Josh Fournier, come back to the stage, please, sir. Did Josh pass out from Listerine? Oh, there you go. There you go. I thought you got... <laughs> I forgot we had a DJ, bro. Real shit. DJ been over here drunk as fuck. He wake up in the middle of the show. Doo -doo, boo -boo, boo -boo, boo -boo. Yeah! <laughs> Next up. I'll, I'll, I'll make an executive decision because y'all asked for him. Richard Wolfson, come on up here, bro. It may take him a while to get up here, so y'all gotta wait on it. That motherfucker gonna get here tomorrow. Because nobody gave him the heads up that he was gonna make the finals. Look at him, it'll be here Saturday. God damn. Do -do 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 Come up here, Rich. You killed it, bro. This is the first time, this is no real shit, all bullshit aside, this is the first time in Gong Show history that the crowd brought back somebody who got caught. Y'all give it up, y'all give it up. It's about y'all, it's about y'all, it's about y'all. Last finalist, y'all give it up for AJ Matthews. All right. So we're gonna go by skin tone. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all, this Black History Month. Fuck y'all. They're gonna light the dark. If you feel like Richard Wolfson should win the $200, make some noise. <laughs> I feel like I got cancer by touching his ass. Next up. Next on the Roy G. Biff motherfucking <laughs> colorism. If you feel like Josh Fournier should win the $200, make some noise. Okay, okay. Now, goddamn it, it's February still. <laughs> this motherfucker got child support. If you feel like A.J. Matthews won, make some noise! All right, Richard, I gotta tell you to go because it's between these two fellas. I'll tell you this, it's still free to ride the motherfucking bus out here, so you're good. All right, we're gonna leave it up to these two. The most oppressed motherfuckers in history. <laughs> Rebel, are y'all still with me? Y'all are gonna give away the $200, all right? You saw the two sets, whichever was best, that's who I will give $200 to, all right? Give it up for Josh Fournier! If you felt like A.J. Matthews did his thing, give it up for A.J.
Well, goddamn it, I didn't hard enough. Give it up for your winner for two hundred dollars, AJ Matthews. Since you're a brother, I'm gonna pay you an EBT. You'll get it next week. It's four hundred, <laughs> two for one. That's no, nah, I got you, bro. Hey, give it up for your headliner, Joshua Harrison, all the way from Arizona, all the way from Phoenix. Give it up for your five judges who came out here, gave their time. Give it up for the loud bitches back there that nobody gonna fuck with. And give it up for your sales rebel for being a great fucking crowd. Thank you very much. You guys have a great night. I just remember we had a DJ play some goddamn music. <laughs>